Uncle Sam took me off to war. Ten thousand miles from the river. What's up guys? How's everybody doing tonight? We're chasing Murphy tonight. Normally I play rock music, but uh, I've kind of been in a like a classic hip hop mood. So we're just we're gonna play some uh a bit of rap tonight. Hope that's okay. It's still kind of uh Jason Murphy because he's like he's like an older guy. He was born in 1990. He didn't grew up with uh this rap music. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Just gonna do a chill stream tonight. I don't know what we're gonna get into, if anything. Um, right, right now we're just doing a little bit of mining. I think I'm gonna go hit up the uh, the recycle center. I think that's open. So uh, there's just a lot of stuff that Jason Murphy has to like build up. <laughs> he's running like ten bands at a time right now, so he's uh, he's kind of a noob. Billy Bob Jr. was my main here for pretty much all of 2.0. And I uh, just switched over back back over to Jason Murphy. It's ironic in 1.0 Jason Murphy was my main. So uh And then Billy Bob Jr. kind of became my second main. I don't know. I played a lot of New Day guys. So we'll go to Grape Seed real quick. We'll uh do our fang. Recycle center. I think I need to get some food. See if anybody's open in the county. Yeah, we're gonna text and drive. It's super safe. It's fine. <laughs> Very stealthy. So there's some food places open, but it's in the uh, it's in the city. Corner pocket bar and grill. You know what? We might just didn't end up eating convenience, uh, convenience store food. Yeah, there's nobody open in the county. I'm all about the giving the uh, the restaurants RP. I just don't feel like coming to the city, so this is what it is. So it's summertime, so my girls stay up a little later, so there might be some background music. Not music, oh my goodness. Background noise, yeah. Super professional stream here. I'm gonna try to stream more often. I, I uh, well, I'm taking my breaks here lately, you know, but uh, we've just been doing a lot of grinding and yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like that makes good content, but I don't know, maybe I'll just stream no matter what, and what happens, happens, I guess. Because even whenever we're, uh, you know, doing our little bit of grinding, you know, you know, you never know what kind of role play happens in the middle of it. I've really been enjoying uh, being back in New Day. I've been over in production for a while, and I'm still over there. Uh, Billy Bob and the Brotherhood, uh, we moved over there. But it's been fun building Jason Murphy back up and seeing what we get into. Cooked dinner tonight. It was uh <laughs> my daughter was legit worried about getting food poisoning. 
Lonzo looking at me all like concerned. <laughs> like, Dad, we know mom can cook. I don't know about you though. Why don't we just let mom do it? <laughs> it's like, yo, I got this. It ended up pretty good. The, I was making spaghetti and I, I put a little bit of cinnamon in the uh, in the sauce, but uh, well, I was supposed to put a little bit of cinnamon in the sauce. And it ended up dumping. It ended up dumping out, and uh, so it was, uh, it was a little little cinnamon. <laughs> Is that a word, cinnamon? I don't know. All right. Oh, I guess I gotta do a <clears throat> gotta do a radio check. Radio check. I don't know if anybody's awake. I know, uh, I think normally for, uh, for the Chumash family, it's, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, I believe. When they're around a lot. So. But I've been pretty much around every day this week. I have too. Took some time off from work and I've just been on New Day. Like, all day. <laughs> Was totally not drinking a glass of wine when that uh, popped up. <laughs> oh man, it gave me like a lot of scrap earlier. Being stingy now. I made like $300 doing this earlier. I remember there was a uh, suggestion of, about getting rid of a certain walk style because people were switching to like, a, I guess, a speedy walk style or something when they do this. And uh, people were getting upset about it. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not, I, I like have like the slowest walk style ever as Jason, and I'm not about to change it, but like if you want to speed up an RP that you work faster when you're clocked in, then, you know, go for it. I don't have a problem with it. Some people did though. I saw it as fell RP for some reason. I, f I think uh, realistically you would walk faster when you were. I know whenever I worked in a warehouse, we moved 10,000 pounds of freight an hour. There was no walking slow if you wanted to keep your job. But Jason Murphy doesn't care. He's not going to work. He's not going to walk faster for. Or, uh, the recycle center. He's gonna take his time and he's just gonna do his thing, so he doesn't care. And that's the role play we're doing here. One can of spray paint. Alright. It was absolutely terrible. We're gonna make like $10 on this one, guys. <laughs> You know, one thing that pushed us towards uh, the inner community that we're in um, is we got, well, we've been in New Day for over two years, right? And, um, or we'll write at two years, I guess. Oh, I fell. Oops. And it's just so, it is a like very grindy economy, right? But, uh, but New Day is a very immersive server. I mean, like, I don't know why it is why it's so much more immersive but it is <laughs> and so um if you just ignore how much money you're making or not making and just enjoy your time you know just realize it's going to take you a little longer to to build a character and have a lot of fun and that's kind of what i had to i had to like take a break and then come back and realize that It is an amazing community, so. <clears throat> A 
Wait, what? I, you didn't even give me a chance to do it. Okay. What's up, man? Good talk. <laughs> oh, whoever was on the radio didn't hear you. They might not have heard me either. The radio is weird sometimes. Back in 109 minutes. Uh, how about now? Yo, what's going on, man? Hey, Jason. How you doing? Uh, doing pretty good, man. I was just about to do some mining. I was up in Grape Seed, so I just figured I'd hit up to the recycle center real quick. Oh, okay. We're, we're at the house. Uh, I, I just got up and, and, and Derek's been meditating. Okay. Um... Y'all had something to do tonight, right? So I figured, uh, figured I'd just do some mining or something. But uh, if you guys need uh, any extra help, let me know. Uh, wait one second, Jason. I'm sorry. What did we get? Uh, Jason, uh, Jason, um, Derek's having trouble with his radio. Um, you're, you, you want to do mining? Uh, yeah, no, that's just what I was, uh, what I was doing while I was waiting for everybody to wake up, but, uh, I knew you guys, you guys kind of have something going on tonight, right? I, I think Derek does. I don't know if he was going to have me, uh, if there was room for me or not, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah I, I, I figured it was already, it. you guys already had four people on it, so, uh, I was just going to do my, my thing or whatever, but, I mean, like, if you guys need me for anything, obviously, uh, I'm here for you if you need me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll stay on the radio, you know. There he is, you're good. See, see, Jason, you didn't have to be concerned. He he knows how to do stuff. <laughs> what? I'm not hearing Jason on the radio. Radio check. Wait, I'm not hearing you on the radio either. Who, me? Can you hear me now? I, I can hear you the whole time. I'm not quite sure about Derek. <laughs> My dog is chasing her tail. I, I, I can hear dog him. Were you able to hear him? Yeah, I can. I can hear Derek. No problem. Okay, so it's 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 all on him. Then he he doesn't hear us. I'm gonna get some okay, gas. He's working on that. It's probably bad battery. He probably left it. You know. Left it on the counter and it got wet, and now it's not working right or something. $500. Hellhounds MC, alright. Let's see how long they last in Grapeseed. Been in a server for two years and two months. And there's been so many different MCs claim Grapeseed in that time. None of them's worked out, and they've all been assholes. <laughs> So we'll see how Hellhounds works out. No, they're not. They have all oh, haven't been assholes. There's been some pretty good ones. Um, who are the green guys that claimed it? Uh, the Reefers, I think. Something like that. They, they were pretty good. I can't deposit cash. In. Why I went to? I thought the Angels of Death had taken over Grape Seed. I guess they didn't last long. I don't know. We're just gonna go with some sandwiches, I reckon. We'll buy whoops. Okay, so mystery solved. The reason that I fucking uh, couldn't make the toolkit I wanted to make 
is because those little uh, Zacto knives or whatever the hell it is look a lot like files. <laughs> Especially if you need glasses. So there we go. Yeah, that, that'd do it. Yeah, I've been trying to make a toolkit with a Zacto knife. Is uh is the recipe for that in the uh, in the email? I need. I I couldn't find it, but uh, I I could show you um, once I get a file. It's a uh, it's like a, a file, uh, lockpick, a drill. Hey, there he is. Very distant, but there he is. Oh, I still can't hear you. I can yeah I can hear Derek still. Uh, maybe, uh, should we turn our radios off and on and see if that, I mean, would that help, you think, or no? Oh, us turn it off? Yeah, I, I'm willing to try. Oh. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I'm willing to try a radio thing. I'll turn mine off and, and we'll just regroup here in about uh, a minute. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Let's try to cycle TeamSpeak real quick and see if that helps. Connected. I don't know what that announcement was about, if that has anything to do with what we're... It doesn't look right now, but... Connected. Channel switched. Alright. Radio check. Watch now, I won't be able to hear anybody. <laughs> Radio check. Uh, radio check. Oh, you're good, Jason. Yeah, I can yeah, hear you too. Something going on with the Derek's radio, I think. Audio issues are so frustrating. Whether it's in your stream or in the game or whatever, Discord. <laughs> Somebody's coming in hot. I'm, I'm briefing Derek on everything we talked about. Look at this nerd. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Surfing Pog. That's not Reaper, is it? Is that Reaper? Riley? gonna do with a hobby knife now i have no idea what i can use that for you think i can uh, use it when i'm rob stores maybe that's what i was wondering a, a good test might be if i you know try to sell some weed or something there better be one and only one I reaper amen to that baby hey <laughs> man hey man hey man there's one and one, only one riley reaper okay there ain't no more riley reaper you, you know maybe got full billy bob on that one we went to church we went to church on that and <laughs> how you been it's been a minute reaper currently in the 1902 time frame heck yeah you know what i've um i'm in uh wild west rp i made a uh, jeffro walker is my character's name I've done a little bit of role play oh come on we can make it all right good I've done a little bit of role play there but i haven't done too much it's a lot of fun though. I'll tell you what, you can lose a lot of hours in Wild West RP just riding around and enjoying the server. I need to get back into it. It was a lot of fun. I was like picking tobacco. I bought a horse and then I lost my horse <laughs> and I was walking for a while. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> How's it going? Make sure I grab what I need. I already did that. Good. Uh, let's put that in the glove box. Nice. Maybe we'll see each other. So it's really chill RP sometimes. Slow burn stories for sure. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you got. Do you guys still do the um? Oh, what is it? You guys have like some um, major story arcs over there. It's the uh. What's your gang's name? 
Oh my goodness. I know it. The Colts, right? It's the Colts. Nice to see you. Just came back from a nice vacay. Saw my cousin graduate. I hope you were doing well too. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm doing good. I uh, I just randomly decided to stream today. So I'm just like, I was like, I'm, I'm going to chill and uh, do some mining. And why not? Let's stream. It's going to be some exciting content of me smacking a pickaxe against a rock. It's going to be amazing. And uh, <laughs> but no, we've been doing good. All good here. I've actually been over in production RP for a while. Um, I've got like four characters set up over there and uh, just came back. I got done doing what I needed to do to set everything up, I guess, you know, over there. And so now I'm, I'm bouncing between New Day and production. So I haven't played New Day in so long. I just don't want to grind. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, the grind is is like so for Jason. Jason lives underneath the bridge at Chumash. I'm not about to grind a half a million dollars for a house, you know, I'm just not going to do it. So, you know, you saw the, the old van that he drives. He still has his two motor. No, he has three motorcycles now. So he's, st he's still a motorcycle nut. Um, But, uh, but yeah, whatever money I make is what I make. I I'm not worried about like how much I make per hour or anything like that. I'm just chilling, you know, I, I can't focus on how much money you make an hour because it'll just be frustrating because <laughs> it is a grind. Uh, you know, so yeah, I got, I got, I'm broke, <laughs> but you know what? Jason being broke kind of goes good with him because, uh, he's not really, he's not a guy that's going to be driving a supercar. You know what I mean? Like he's, uh, I don't want Jason to have a lot of money. Hey Jason, you still there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Derek seems to be, um, kind of. Uh, thinking about something, so um, I'm going to go over and get a file from the thing, and uh, if you want, uh, I can show you how to do that, um, and also there's a thing that you can do with it that is uh, kind of helpful. Um, there's these uh, things you can get at the mining uh, yard there from the offices that uh, this helps get into the buildings. Oh yeah, yeah, and isn't that supposed to help us get into the uh, the back room too, and the stores? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm just at the uh, I'm at the mines right now, so yeah, just uh, whenever uh, it's it's at the uh, it's at the Sandy Shores house, right? That you'd be at the um, yeah crafting table. Uh you know what? I'm going to go back into the house because apparently somebody's been shot out here and there's a couple of criminals uh, looking over the bodies. So I'm going to go back into the house. Do you need me to go to Sandy? No, I think we're okay in the house, but uh, I did hear some gun... Shit. Sorry, I, I accidentally locked the door. <laughs> All right, man, you need me to go there. I'll come in bl guns blazing. You know, just let me know. Well, I won't come in guns blazing because that would be a rule break. I'll come in and say, Yo, no, I, I'm I Jason, right. pick your I hands heard up. a couple of guns and then I'll earlier, go. and, 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 I, you know, and then I'll guns blaze. Sandy Shores, and huh. then I went out and I looked down the street just right by where I need to run by and uh, to get to my part, my van, you know, and uh there's a couple guys in black uh standing over a body on on the side of the street so i thought you know you know it's best to just assume that house. guy deserved it you know yeah that's fine but i don't <laughs> want uh them to consider whether or not they need to you know um expand their uh efforts to take care of a problem if you know what i mean oh yeah yeah getting rid of witnesses or whatever Okay, Derek's going to try his radio again. And I could hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? The radios are so funky. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This is, this is like a bad cell phone commercial right now. <laughs> Gotta get the the gym. You guys happen to have a um, radio. Yeah. Do you happen to have um Remy's phone number? Like, can, 
Is, is their phone on by any chance? Oh, who's? Uh, Remy. The, uh, the, the lady that owns the, um, the, whatchamacallit, jewelry store. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, man, I don't, the only thing about mining is, like, if you're at a certain angle, it just keeps going in and out. Uh, my, he mainly toes, actually, but we need diamonds to, um, rob the jewelry store, because we're filthy criminals, and we do criminal stuff, so, um, I'm mining right now just to get diamonds. But it's it's Jason, it's the same Jason Murphy that was in the Vikings, you know. So um, he he's my main again. You know, after the Vikings folded, I kind of switched full time to Billy Bob, and um, and Jason kind of I hadn't been on him in forever, you know. I forgot how much I miss playing this guy. He, I mean, he's he's by far my most in depth. Uh... I just uh, messaged it to you. Hell yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Well, she's, she doesn't appear to be uh, around right now. But, uh... He was well, by far my most established character in New Day, you know? So, um, when I switched over to Billy Bob, which I had a lot of history of Billy Bob in a different server. Um, actually, it was Billy Bob Jr. Billy Bob Sr. was actually my original, like, Billy Bob character, and I had permanent. Okay, well, those guys seem to have cleared um, out, so I'm going to... He got lane. murdered by a serial killer on New Year's Day, and so then I created Billy Bob Jr. So that just added more depth to that character, you know, because uh, I had the life of his his dad, and then I brought it into, you know, the death and all that into the story of Billy Bob Jr. But um, but no, I I uh, it's been great to be Jason again. He's much more quiet and he's much more laid back than uh than Billy Bob. Billy Bob was required a lot of energy. Or requires I still play Billy Bob in production and Billy Bob's still alive in New Day, but he's in hiding because his um his The Brotherhood the the um organization that we, we were we had two businesses I don't know if you heard about this or not, but they got Rico It was the biggest Rico according to Davis. It was the biggest Rico in 2.0 history and maybe possibly server history It included over a million dollars in assets plus two businesses so um you know, um, he's hiding because there's a lot of people that want Billy Bob dead right now. Um, so he's hiding on the island right now. He's fishing and trying to enjoy retirement. He's got a, he's got like a lot of cash on him and he skipped town. <laughs> but yeah, we lost, uh, we owned Lala and Turner Mexican restaurant and, uh, the pawn shop, high five pawn shop. And, uh, yeah, we lost both those businesses due to, um, uh, gun trafficking gun trafficking and uh drug trafficking we were part of the um the group that was doing the um what did you change here let me uh see what's going on here we were part of the group that does uh vampire coke though that's the right, pipeline that does I had that a, but, I had a file on my truck. we were uh close friends with them and worked with them To be able to hear on it. Um, I don't remember. That might be an email thing. Um, hmm. let's see, let's go to TeamSpeak. Seems like an in-character way to explain that, right? My, my TS app on the radio there, you know? <laughs> like the first month of New Day, it was all like speaking in code, like people trying to explain stuff to you. 
like the email like that for the longest time i thought there was an in-game email that i was like needing to get and i was trying to figure out how to download the email on my phone and, and then i it finally i finally one day it dawned on me people were talking about discord <laughs> so weird i guess uh you can mention team speak in gta because it's a modern day uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> I mean, TS could stand for anything, right? It could be just my TS app, you know? <laughs> I downloaded it off the black market. <laughs> yeah, trying to explain stuff in Wild West RP must be even, like, way more tough, you know? <laughs> Flex your team speak muscle and go to the plug-in vein. And update your muscle settings. I don't know. <laughs> At that point, you just get, you just reach out in Discord and message them there. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like the whole flexing muscles thing either. Honestly. Okay, so Jason, would you mind uh, being... Wait, didn't you go with me the one time? Uh, what's that? Didn't you go with me once when I uh, was getting some of these caps? Oh, yeah. Yeah, over there by oh. the... Uh, by the... Yeah, I'm at the mine now. You're talking about the little storage sheds? Or not storage sheds, yeah. but I guess they're offices or whatever. Yeah. Um, have you ever tried one yourself, or...? Uh, yeah, I think that day you gave me one of those toolkits to, to use on a safe. Okay. Alright, well, I got, I got another one now. I don't know if you want to either be lookout or, um, or try it out while I, I'd be lookout. Uh, yeah, let me... If you, you know... Uh, I'm just waiting on my pickaxe to get repaired. Uh, it's like, uh, probably a minute, and then I can be there. Oh, okay. Alright, then I'll, I'll just meet you there. Sounds good. I'm dressed to blend in, that's for sure. I'll be lookout because I'm like good to blend in right now. I'm like in my mining outfit, so. Yeah, it turns out I don't have a fucking vehicle here. Uh, oh, uh, no. Let me find something. I can come pick you up. No, it's all right. Uh, the neighbor's loaning me his pickup truck. <laughs> Well, for example, someone's team speak is sounding robotic. We're like, um, did you swallow a frog? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Kind of like, uh, you know, you, you have a spider on your foot or whatever. <laughs> Same concept. Oh, no, I have all this stuff on me still. Crap. I feel like mining if I'll have extra weight on you. <laughs> what is this? I'm not wearing my mask. Oh, man, I have black lung. Oh, no. There we go. And we're safe. And we're good. I mean, Jason smokes like two packs of cigarettes a day, so I don't know what he's worried about, but, you know, we're trying to be safe while we mine, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice, and it's good cover because it kind of looks like a construction vehicle. Oh, yeah. Uh, D class A, uh, what, uh, WT? Instead of saying flex your X muscle to access the emote menu, we just emphasize a word like extra. You just need to feel extra crit. Yeah. That's, I actually try to do that too. Sometimes that goes over people's heads though. But, uh, but that, that's, that's, to me, that's way better than like flexing a muscle or whatever. It helps kind of, you, you're, you're not... cop just talked at me. Hmm, that was interesting. <laughs> it just helps create that, uh, that immersion, you know? That's what I was telling my friend, because like I said, I've been over in production. In production, there's some amazing RP over there. Don't get me wrong. But, like, like there's so much to do over there, too. And there's so much to do here. But, um, but, like, New Day is just so immersive. And I was like, why is New Day so much more immersive? Like... I don't understand. It's, they're both RP communities, you know, and and they're both great. 
but like new day is just like super immersive and i think it's because of things like that you know you got a lot of people that have that mindset of um watching what they say i guess and and um just helping to keep that more illusion what that means is that there's fucking cops in the vicinity shit well so tell us to reach I, out I, in I a, definitely a will DMs. yeah looking out or, or i'll look out yeah i'm uh, pulling around now where do you want me to post up at uh you know that first one that you come to uh it's kind of by some railroad tracks uh after you get in yeah are oh, you in a truck uh, yeah. down there I'm uh no I'm just arriving I'm uh I'm still on the street I'm turning in right now a brown pickup truck right. I'm in my blue van I see you I had the uh the modern you know, I don't know if you remember my van that I had in 1.0 but I, I wanted to get it again but mostly since I have it so I bought the classic and then I found out for whatever reason that van is at the commercial lot so I guess I'll eventually buy it. Oh, it's nice of your neighbor to let you borrow this, man. It's a nice truck. Yeah, it's a nice truck, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what I'll do is I'll just pull up down there like I belong there, and uh, if they show up, I'll I'll try to tell them some bullshit or something like that, and maybe you can create a distraction or something. I don't think I have anything other than a gun, but I'm pretty sure it is my own gun, so do you have anything illegal on you? Uh, no, I don't have anything illegal, but I just realized that uh, I think that guy stole my fucking pickaxe. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Wait, maybe you can go back and get it real quick? Maybe, yeah. you know? I mean, um, yeah, let me go try to get it. I mean, I could get it after, I guess, but... Oh. Well, if I go to jail, though, then maybe... Yeah, maybe I ought to go get it real okay. quick. It yeah, is 800. Go, go it ahead. was Derek's, too, so... Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll wait. Hey, Derek, Derek, are you on? on? I, I can hear beeping, at least. Radio chip. All right, I can hear you, Jason. Oh, I yeah. can hear you, Derek. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just needed to take a nap. I've been up for hours and hours and hours and hours. So. <laughs> oh shit, are you all right? Yeah. The wrong way. Okay. Me and him are over here at the uh, at the mine. Is that? Um, uh, that that's Oliver O'Brien. He um. Cap. He's a Probably relentless seven two four. He much. plays Boomer um, in DDMC. I don't know if you so want to. Did you have his, something you were going to do today? Name or alt? Is that Boomer from DDMC? Yeah, I need to get a hold of Maddie. He wanted to talk about uh, explosives. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. Then I'm out here uh, trying to get some. Um, he has to go back into the mine to see uh, see the guy about his pickaxe, but uh, he'll be back in a minute. Well, hopefully one of these days I'll catch you in Wild West RP. Heck yeah, absolutely. Um, if you got room for was, another, uh, I, I'd, I'd be willing to go. Um, I was getting my uh, my van painted actually at, at Polito Customs. Polito you're Customs you're downside do of that thing Reaper's Repair. Me. But um, well, yeah, man, it's so, so, so many memories there, you know? Well, I, I thought it was something else, but uh, okay. And then they actually opened up the original Reaper's is now a, um, is now Raven's Repair. And it's a, um, remember how they would never let us, um, have a, um, two shops right next to each other or whatever, I guess. Yeah. Now there's a, uh, there's, um, what do you call it? Um, one's, one's a customization shop and the other one's a, uh, uh, I, I forget the word for it, but, um, oh, that's what it was. I, uh. I didn't, I, I went to activate it under order. Is that thing just going to stay up there? Okay, that's going to be annoying. Oh, well. I'll break my pickaxe eventually and have to use it to repair it. But, um, yeah, so there, there's a, a there's a repair shop in Polito now, and there's a customization shop. So there's two shops in Polito now. Which, they, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't have allowed that before, because Polito is so far away. You know, having both is, is nice. Remember that part as soon as we moved our shop, they opened the other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I think as soon as we moved the shop, it was like a local shop for a little while, right? And they wouldn't shut it down. So people would just go to the local shop to get their repairs done instead of, uh, instead of coming in role playing at the, uh, at the custom shop. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, 
Yeah, man, so many memories. The Vikings RP was so good. It was so immersive, you know? Is Kelly still uh, RP? I know he was going for a... It's kind of a, having to take a break there for a little while. What are you doing, my God? What? Okay. But uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of amazing people. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, apparently, oh, I, good. Um, I tried to start another order instead of actually grabbing it. So, oh that's shit! My, well, at least you got bad. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to uh, go ahead and give it a try, or do you want to be lookout? Um. I'll give it a try. I can always say I'd lock my keys in the office whenever I'm kind of dressed for the okay. court, I guess. Will you do me a favor? Can I give you um, this uh, this box uh, to put in your truck just in case? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, here. Just go ahead and throw it in. I have a lot of uh, stuff on me, so. Oh. It's 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 nothing illegal. It's just that they it's full of lock picks, files, other stuff, and I just worried that you know if a cop did search me, he'd start fucking saying, "Well, I'm gonna keep this," you know, and that bullshit. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, I put that toolkit there too for you. Very good. Although personally, my favorite parts of it were the lighter, fun mom moments. Or oh yeah, it was okay, all good. We're gonna try, try to get, to get some blasting from, from these places, places here. here. And it was amazing okay, how we could go from coming up here to talk about stuff. like fun banter okay. to like I serious thinking like, about a job today. Having somebody up in pieces, you know, like we just no idea go, what you're referring to. And then go right back okay, to no the fun problem. banter, <laughs> you know, and the patrols that we did, you know, even though there was never anybody up there hardly, you know what I mean? Okay. But it was just fun to okay, so writing I'll, in formation uh, and. Um, I'll just kind of stand here with a clipboard and look important, okay? And uh, if they show up, I'll, I'll, I'll bullshit, yeah, bullshit, we, uh, bullshit, and we, we, uh, okay. we got to come up with the story. We logged, we were working at the mine, and uh, boss man, we have to grab something for the repair shop in there. Um, from here. Yeah. And the uh, and the 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 key broke, and uh, you had to improvise because it's very important that we get uh, that wait, thing. Wait, you know, you know what we're doing? We're making a deposit. Okay, the boss man gave us the cash from the uh, the pickaxe repairs, and we got to deposit it into the safe in here. And I oh, lost yeah. the damn key, so I just picked the lock. Yeah. You know. There you go, and uh, you know, I'm 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 um I'm I'm supervising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Simple and effective. I think uh, Jackal and Gloud RP on DOJ now. Oh, wow. That's a blast from the past, huh? <laughs> well, hats off to him, you know? I heard that DOJ did good for a lot of changes, so... You know? That's where they started out at, too, so... Do they still do Wild West RP, though? So I told Kelly like probably a year ago that I, oh they don't do Wild West anymore. Oh, this is so much easier, but I hate it because uh, oh so much faster at the harder way. It's just you now. Oh, so are the Colts not a thing anymore? Uh, that's the sound I like to hear. Come on. There we go. Is there anything else I can hit in here? Or is it just a safe? Uh, just a safe. All right, we're good. I got some sort of solution. I'll hand it to you. Nice. Oh yeah. All right, you want to try another one? Yeah, might as well. I'll give you keep the stuff on you, and then if they search me, you know, 
They got no reason to search you. Oh. You're not breaking into the place, you know. So. Okay. Yeah. Where's the next one? Right. At? Uh, it's it's over over that way. Should we drive over or walk? Yeah, yeah, we can drive in my truck if you want. All right. His stolen truck. He's like my my truck. It's just me now, but I'm having a ton of fun now. I got two characters I'm having lots of fun with. Grim and Reaper. Oh, nice. It's crazy that uh, it's, it's crazy to think. This has got a very durable uh, axle. Hell yeah. It's crazy to think that they're not in uh, Wild West anymore because uh, man, that was like his main YouTube channel content was. Uh, there was uh, a better place to so do good. this. Let's see. But you know, uh, at some point you do move on. You know, especially when you've done it so much. I mean, that's where I was at with New Day for a little bit. You know, I, I just had to take a break from it. I'd done it so much. You just, you just kind of get burnt out. All right, good shit. Yep. Yeah, time changes a lot. I mean, just look at how much change New Day's had. All the people that's come and gone from it. I just want to pop in on New Day, but I don't know where to begin. Y you know, the easiest character to probably do, if you just want to kind of like wet your whistle, I guess. It's like a homeless character. Randy Johnson, I have the most amazing interactions with him, and he probably has more money than any, any other character, even though he's homeless, because uh just go around and be like, hey, hey man, you got 20 bucks, bro. Now I'm Batman, you know? They won't give me a bank card or nothing like that. I can't even collect unemployment, you believe that? And uh, <laughs> you will, people are pretty generous. <laughs> come on, come on. Easy money, yeah. <laughs> oh, Riley is homeless. There you go, yeah. Exactly. Jason's homeless too. <laughs> Man, this one was empty. Oh, shit. Alright, well, we got one hit. more. Maybe, maybe. Sometimes they just, they don't fucking, uh, you know, they don't keep, keep them, them there. there. Oh, you want to try the third one? Yeah. If cops roll up after we're out of the building, then we just, uh, we, we say they were on a black BF 400 blacked out, right? Oh, hell yeah. And we were Perfect. running here. We were running here because we saw him messing around and we were coming to stop him, but they already took yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, well, as a matter of fact. They're on a black BF 400. We were just fucking trying to run them down. They fucking went up that hill right there. Oh, Have you guys arrive fast. Holy shit. Yeah, good How shit, y'all. Okay. Guys, uh, who yeah. are you guys? Do you guys have ID on you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason Murphy, uh, yes. I work for the yeah. mine. And, uh, oh shit! Here, here it is. I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and I'm, uh, I'm you guys work I, here? I'm, a, I'm a contractor, um, so I'm kind of his supervisor, but uh, I don't work for the mine directly. But uh, uh, we were here. Actually, we were heading over to. Um, the the mine over there because uh he needed to get some work done on a pickaxe and uh we saw two guys blacked out on a uh on a motorcycle and you know being that we're affiliated we thought we better come over and check and uh they took off really quick but you guys got here fast we were just actually i don't think i even dialed 911 yet no nah. did you no no i was about to oh. but then they put okay. up you guys get an alarm or something <laughs> Uh, well, we received a phone call, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe somebody else saw it, too. Okay, so where were you guys? Like, how did you, how did you know the cabins were broken into? We well, heard the we bike. Were dr yeah, we heard the bike, and this place is kind of a maze, and I don't know it well, so I was a little lost. Okay, and, uh... Okay. And is that your truck there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, who's uh, well, it's, 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 uh, it's, it should be registered to, um, uh, Dumas Incorporated. Uh -huh. Yeah, they... Dumas? 
Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, D U M A S. <laughs> it's an incorporation. It's it's. Uh, I'm a contractor. I'm working with a mining company oh here. Oh my god. Uh, is that through Dumas? Do, do <laughs> just one. What? Thank you for is that thing? through Dumas? Uh, is that the, the, uh. <laughs> the con you're contracted through Dumas or no? Well, not through Dumas. Uh, through Dumas. Through. Yeah. That's what well, I said. Through Dumas. Well, yeah. Okay. And who's been driving this vehicle today? Uh, I have, sir. Okay. So Dumas, uh, D-U-M-A-S. Yes, ma'am. It's French, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. There is no registered business uh, with the state called Dumas, sir. What the hell? I'm looking at the I'm looking at the the public listing of business licenses from Dockel. So, um, yeah. There is Wait no. Who who hired you on to do mass? Do you have uh, a boss? We could talk to. Well, you. it was a guy on the phone. Uh, he said, mm -hmm. "Huh, this is very confusing." I get paid under the table, so I don't know all the corporate stuff. To be honest with you, I see you're, here. You're getting paid. Do you dodge taxes too, sir? I mean, yeah, I, I don't like taxes, man. You're, you're tax evading. I mean, not officially. No. Unofficially, maybe. Do you Where the hell is the guy's or... phone number? Jesus. <laughs> uh, I can't locate his phone number right now. I give him a call and maybe we could, you know, figure this I... out. But uh, so, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Well, uh, give us, my bad. Give I, us I, one I... second here, folks. We're just yeah. going to have a quick yeah. chat really quick. Oh, yeah. okay. Oliver. Are you whispering? Uh, yeah. When giving a fake number, all you gotta do is find a real phone number and switch the last two numbers. Oh. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, can we just go, yes. have you guys go ahead and face away from us? We're just gonna get uh, oh. get you guys into some cuss. We're gonna get, oh. uh, try to get to the oh. bottom of everything that's going on here. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys, you're just being you're just you're not under oh. arrest. You're just being detained right. at the moment. Yeah, okay. you're just being oh, detained okay. at the moment. Right? I'm gonna oh. put okay. you in cuffs here. Okay. Oh. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable. Okay. I apologize. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay. Do you have anything okay. that's gonna poke, stick, in, or prod me if I search you? Uh, I Some don't think I do. I might carry a knife, but I I think I put it away earlier today. And do you have okay. anything on your side that's gonna hurt me? Gonna yeah, okay. I have a, I have okay. a big axe on okay. me. So you just do be have careful. a revolver, sir. So is this the revolver sure. belong to you? I uh, yes, it does. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm I and the guy. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna take that yeah. off of you. Well, that's not gonna poke. Okay. Uh, what it's is this safety liquid? On it. Okay, stuff. just for the duration of the stuff, I'm just going to have. Oh, it's a, um, it's a chemical it, we use at the here end, at, okay? the, at the mines. Yeah, fine, it, uh, it it helps. Yeah. It's a solvent. It's supposed to help to um, <laughs> I'm just gonna take clean that rocks. For just a minute, okay? Oh, yes, There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, this is a lot of food. I'm not gonna keep your food. I'm yeah, I I I just have to check because some people keep. I actually have trying to watch my weight, but I'm not very successful. So this K. Let's see. Let me read this label. Is K in Oh, is that an O or a zero? Oh, I, I don't recall. I was just handed the bottle and told that I need to to bring okay. it here because it's some sort of thing having to do with mining. They brought. It, they told you to bring it here. Oh yeah. Potassium nitrate. Oh. What do you do okay. with it? I have no oh, idea. Can I, can I turn around and face you, or is that a? Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah, this yeah, is yeah. used in a rock. Is a rocket propellant what? fireworks. What the fuck? What is the? What is the my, my okay? So it's much coming over here. Minutes. I I so, really couldn't tell you. I really have. I like that head to head torch. By the way, I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, it makes it a lot easier when mining, man. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, so you freeze a hand up, and the shoulder ones are annoying because every time you move, it flies around all over the place. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So I do have a few questions for you. So I am just going to read you your rights. Okay. Again, you're not under arrest. We're just investigating at the moment. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be provided to you by the state, okay? Do you understand this? Yes. Okay, so from the beginning, what, uh, what, you know, what is it you are doing here today? Um, well, I've, I work at the mine, so I, right. I worked a night shift here, and um, I was just uh, in transit in my van. My blue van, I have a blue van up at the top of the ridge there. And um, the reason I stopped right there is because there's a BF 400 that was uh, at this, the, I can't point, but at the one right in front of you there. Yeah, yeah. We noticed him at the door, so I immediately stopped, and I caught it on the radio. And then Oliver is my supervisor, immediate supervisor, and he came in with his truck. And uh, mm -hmm. I hopped in his truck, and we rode over to see what, what was what, you know. Right. You know, we were about to call 911 whenever you guys showed up. They'd 
literally drove off so, as we were pulling up so okay so your van is where sorry it's uh it's gonna be at the top like if you come in from the entrance yeah. um it's gonna be like right up there on the ridge there okay like on the main road so, i mean so so you run down here no 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 oliver pulled up in his truck and i got in his truck okay and how long have you worked with oliver um well he's he's uh, we don't like work per se day to day like right next to each other you know like i work in the mine and he's more of the corporate side of it right but um okay how long have you known him brother um about a uh shit i don't know six months maybe longer okay He's more of the suit and tie, and I'm more of the, uh, the guy getting dirty, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, no, I, I get it, I get it. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Because <laughs> they're gonna, what they're, if if they're doing good investigation, which it sounds like they are, they're she's asking him the same questions, and they're gonna compare, you know, compare notes. I love proper police work. Like I'll I'll go to prison all day long over some proper uh, police work. You know what I mean? <laughs> not just a, it's not just a mechanically, uh, the alarm went off and you guys are in the area, so you're automatically guilty. It's an investigation. And, and I absolutely love cops that will investigate and not just, not just be like, you're guilty. You said tech two, Vicky. Six. Tack six. Just wait here a moment for me, sir, okay? Okay. Don't get too far away, I'm gonna run. <laughs> Be out. <laughs> oh no, he's just gonna be right there. I wouldn't get far. Jason's got like one of the slowest walks ever, so his run is super slow. <laughs> Like on an OOC level, I know that Oliver's not the best at uh <laughs> talking his way out of things. Jason doesn't know Oliver that well. He he just kind of met him. Okay, so um, what is in the vehicle? Do you know? Uh, in the truck, I don't know. In my in my oh, van. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, he put that box of like uh of of lock picks and stuff. That's gonna look shady. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, she was talking over the radio. No, it's fine. In my van, there's going to be... I know that there's uh, some iron bars in the back of my van. There may be uh, um, a cooler food in my glove compartment, too. I think that's about it. Okay. Uh, sorry, I need to check one more thing. If my cooler's on me, then it's on me, not my glove compartment. But I have a little, like, okay. lunchbox. And do you usually carry a toolkit when you're mining? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. You need screwdrivers in the mines? Like, how does that work? Oh, yeah, you never know what you need to tighten up. Like, I mean, just for instance, my, my headlamp here, you know? If it gets oh, a little loose, oh, you just tighten it, you know? And, um, yeah, you just never know. Better to have it and not need it than you need it and not have it, you know? Especially when you're in a mine. You get a cave-in or something like that, you know? No, I got you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Observing? I don't think so. I didn't fail at any of it, so... Okay, so, um, if you'd just like to take a walk over to the car for now, um, again, you're still... Uh, no. That's to be expected. Okay, if you just come over here. Maybe he checked my hands. Okay, just wait here one he minute. Was... I thought, he, I thought yes, he was asking if, um... I thought that was a check slash me asking if he saw anything, but I think he it actually just like checked my hands. Made fools of. Hmm. Okay, guys, um, 
I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking great. Um, oh, shit. Well, I mean, so here, here's our problem, right? We were here within about a minute of the call, right? We, yeah, like I said, you guys got here really fast. We just yeah. saw them leave. I'm surprised you guys didn't see them as you went. No. Or as you we, came. I didn't, we saw, we, I didn't we saw hear a motorcycle. No. But, In fact, no. I mean, either way, we saw you leaving the cabin and going into the vehicle. Okay. Um, so you said this is your company vehicle? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Dumas. It, well, Dumas, I mean, okay. I, I haven't driven up? it before it today, up? but yeah, it is so my understanding that that was the vehicle that I was backstory. given to provide the services that, uh, okay. uh, you know. And where where is you uh, collected the vehicle today? Like, where is it that, you know, you picked it up or? In in Sandy Shores, there's a, uh, 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 there's like a convenience store and there's like a parking lot behind the convenience store and the guy left it there for me. He said, just go there, pick so, up the vehicle, get out okay. from mine. And, and, uh, so I have it. I have a question, all right, sir. And yes, here's my question, Reapers okay? I want to say about <laughs> maybe two minutes. Probably not two minutes. About 60 seconds before we actually pulled up and, and came to you guys. We stopped mm -hmm. on the bridge. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, the bridge, like, right there on the road. And I looked down at this, at this and the only tr vehicle that was here was this black truck. Oh, really? The only vehicle here was this black truck. Mm -hmm. There was no dirt bikes. There was nothing. It was that black truck. And the the concern that I have, uh, so it's Mr. O'Brien, yes? Yes. The concern that I have, sir, is um, this vehicle is actually reported stolen. Next time, Jason needs to do all the talking, yeah. <laughs> and we received a call reporting it stolen about half an hour ago. Oh, oh no. So... Uh, do you have any explanation I, for that? I, I do not. At this point, I'm completely, completely overwhelmed with confusion. I mean, okay. uh, you're, you're pretty much telling me that I've been brought out on, and, and, and my friend here have been brought out uh, on false uh, what, circumstances or something, and, and I, I, I really don't want to say pretense. Yeah, that's exactly pretenses, and I, I, I really don't know why, and I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. I other than when you know. The, okay. the individual reported to have stolen this truck is a male. It was stolen hmm. from Sandy Shores oh, about geez. ten minutes ten minutes before we got the break-in call for for here. <laughs> well, uh, I no, I, I, my I, van. Uh, I, I, my van's yeah. parked up on the ridge there. And I, I'm, yeah. And I got the I'm thing from the, things. from the, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Um, well, I can't, I can't really get to my phone, but, uh, I, I mean, I looked for the guy who called me and I couldn't find his number, but maybe, maybe he's one of those that use call blocking and. Okay. I don't you know. Stayed anonymous or um, something. Okay. Um, uh, so. Sounded okay. legitimate. I mean, they do I'm put a lot of us under the table here. So, I mean. I haven't you know? been fucking paid yet. This is really okay. irritating. You have a marshal around that might be interested in this guy and his tax evasion. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah it, it. No, no I on, haven't dude. tax evaded. No, well, this, no, guy, this, no guy, not this, this guy, this guy. <laughs> I, I, you can't tax evade no. if you're not getting paid. <laughs> That's just you getting oh. ripped off. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you what's so, going to happen next, okay? While yes, you sir. are still detained, I am going to search that vehicle. And what am I going to find oh. in that vehicle? Uh, I, I don't know. I hadn't really looked through it. Hopefully, okay. just normal... Well, I, I, you're saying it's stolen. I thought it was a rental, but normal stuff for that type of vehicle, I guess. Okay, and what would you consider normal stuff? For example, like what sort of work equipment would you normally have with you? Uh, me, I, I usually have a clipboard. In fact, I had the clipboard a little bit ago. Maybe I dropped it over there. Um, and uh, uh, pens. Um, so just like sometimes. Okay, so no, no like specialist equipment or anything like that. No, no, not okay. that I'm aware of. I mean, okay. Yeah, I, it's it's it wasn't supposed to any be kind of a special thing. It was basically a uh, you know drop something off type of thing. Right. Okay. Okay. Then just bear with me a minute. Yes, sir. Oh my God, are we in trouble? I need to secure my van too. I, uh, it's wait, unlocked up your, there, and it's got like twelve iron bars in it. It's up on the ridge. 
Uh, um, like the, the main page? entrance. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's where I met okay. him. Okay. Uh, what? He'll he'll probably process that truck, and we'll we'll pop you guys into the car and maybe make our way up there. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. At, at this oh. point, uh, Mr. Murphy, I'm not necessarily confident that uh, that we're looking at anything for you. Um, but <laughs> I I I wasn't the one that had a chat with you, Rhett, So I'm not sure. Okay. Wait, am I am I working for a criminal? No, I'm not a criminal. Uh, well, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, no, Mr. I... Mr. Murphy, that uh, Dumas Dumas does not exist exist. What the fuck? What the f no wonder you're paying me under the table, bro. What the fuck? I, man? What the hell? No, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking communication breakdown. Uh, we might be fucked. What? We might be fucked. I'm sorry. Shit. How much do you think they're bluffing? Uh, they're probably get, trying to get one of us to break, honestly. Oh. I mean, they didn't see us inside the building, so they don't really have much. And there wasn't even anything inside the state. So, uh, they're claiming that they saw us from the bridge up there, and I don't remember saw, seeing them. And I, I was looking them. that way. Yeah. That to be a lie. Yeah, Jason I think they're bluffing. gets out of this, this will be great. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not whispering. I don't think that... Uh, I should be whispering now, probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that uh, my wow. regular voice will carry that far, but maybe, yeah. Oh, you know what that shit's used for? That'd be for? funny if it did. It's a propellant. Propellant? It's a propellant, like for fireworks. Oh. Huh. I guess we're not going to get that back on. Huh? I don't think you know, so. We should have threw that in the van before. Uh, you're whispering, right? We should. I, we should I, yeah. We're... we're uh, we should have threw out in the van before we came and hit the uh, other store or the other. Uh, the thought crossed my mind, but I thought, well, what the fuck, you know? Um, it, shit, then it wouldn't have had anything on us, and we'd have been in a separate yeah. vehicle. Yeah, at least it was on me because I think if you had both things, it would have looked bad. Um, and yeah, but, that might uh, be what's throwing them off too. Is that uh, you didn't have anything to break into the building, and but, I didn't uh, have anything illegal on me. So, on the optimistic side, they're saying that it has to be dried out. It has to be dried out. That's what that's what she said. So I don't know if that's something that we can use or not uh, going forward. But I know that Derek's still working on this shit. So maybe that's oh. something we can use. Some intelligence. Cops helping us figure shit out. You gotta love it. Yeah, they're, they're over there just standing there. I wonder if they think that if we, they make us sweat enough, we'll take off running. That's probably what they're hoping. They don't Should have anything on us. Nah, fuck Should no. we, take we take off running? We take oh, off running, okay. then we're guilty. Oh yeah. We're at least guilty of resisting arrest, you know. They're just they're just playing us, man. I've been in these situations enough to know. Just just keep your cool and you'll be okay. all right. All right. We didn't didn't really know. Did, what did you tell them? We knew each other beforehand, or or anything like that. Um, I said I worked with you for about six months, but I didn't really know you that well. Okay. All right. Good. All right. I'm glad I know that. And, and I basically said that I got a call that I was supposed to do something last minute and uh, that I was supposed to go pick up the truck in Sandy Shores, come out here and drop off that bottle of stuff. That stuff was um, in the truck. Yeah, and I said that uh, we saw we saw the BF 400 and I hopped yeah. in your truck. That's why my van's up there. And we just drove down yeah. here after the BF 400. Perfect, okay. This actually may work. It'd be funny if they had they their, are really, a really mic on their police car and we're off. listening. That would be amazing. That would be so funny. <laughs> that's I mean, that's legit how criminals get caught in real life, right? <laughs> that's what they're that's what their phone is. They're just listening to us. Oh my god, I've loved that. I'm going to ask them if they were the cops that, that honked at me when I was leaving Sandy Shores. You might not want to ask that. They might have been looking for you oh. for the stolen vehicle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, no, because then, if they'd stopped me then, the whole thing, you know, well, no, I guess not. Yeah.
Somebody reported that truck stolen quick, though. We got to keep that in mind. Yeah, no doubt. This word travels fast in uh, Los Santa yeah. or, uh, San Andreas. They didn't ask me how long I knew you. But oh, they didn't. They asked how long no, no, they... I knew you. So if they asked you oh, to wow. say six months, about six yeah. months. Yeah. We don't work directly together. You're more corporate side, and I'm more hands-on side, as yeah. I said. Yeah. I think Everything all right? Uh, yeah, sorry, we're just crossing a few T's and dotting a few I's oh. at the moment. Um, we're just wanting oh. to make sure that, because, you know, um, we're not entirely sure exactly what, uh, what to do with this uh, stuff oh. that was on that you had. Well, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this 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 job is a bust. So you you can just have it. I don't give a shit. I'm I'm kind of pissed off about uh, Vicky, come here. Being called away from a Friday night and shit. Sure. Oh, one second. You can just have it. It's a this job's a bust. He says. Don't say this job's oh, a Jesus. bust. Why would you say that? Yeah, it's a bust because the cop showed up. <laughs> oh God, I love Oliver. <laughs> Oh man, my van's up there unlocked. Or actually, maybe, maybe I locked it. I can't oh, remember if I locked can, it or not. Everything's happening so can, fast. You can see it from here, right? I I can see it. Can you? Where's it at exactly? Uh, I know it's if on the you ridge, look but... towards the stairs, that black uh kind of uh square, I believe that's it. Oh, okay, and there's nobody around yeah. it, right? I've seen a no, few I'm not cars pull anybody. in, so yeah, there was a. a a little, uh, one of those, uh, rusty vans drove by, but I don't think they stopped. Let's see if I can see. I can't see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, Mr. Murphy, just come over here for a minute, please. Okay, uh, if you could face my vehicle, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be returning oh, your you firearm to you. There. Okay. Please obviously do not take that or any other weapons out while you're here. Jesus. Oh, um, absolutely. At this point, you are free to go. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Um, oh, shit. Thank you for assisting us in the investigation. Um, I'm you're okay. I guess it's just a sort of bad... Uh, wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know, your buddy we're going to have another few words with um, because we have a few more questions. Work, but at this point, you, you sir, are free to leave, people. okay? All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to the mine. Okay. Then. Uh, do you have any questions about anything at all today? Uh, no, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, not a problem at all. Appreciate um, you guys showing up. Uh, at least you scared them off, so they couldn't do any more uh, trouble. You know. Yeah. Um, there will be a report filed, so if you require any information regarding this at a later time, um, you should be able to contact any law enforcement officer, and they well, should they have access to it for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. One hundred percent, bro. Appreciate oh, it. That's a shame. Okay. I don't think they're gonna fit have a good rest of your day. You too. And. I was the one that broke into both the places. Poor Oliver. I, I was the one that did all the robbing. I was the one that did all the robbing. And poor Oliver is the one that ends up with the stuff, uh, who ends up still in cuffs. Oh. Oh. We really should have, we should have put the stuff in my van because I didn't even search my van. If we would, if we would have put that stuff in my trunk, um, they wouldn't even be, they wouldn't have anything on him either, you know? The irony that they got called on the one that didn't have anything in it, too. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe they didn't even look in my van. And I left my van unlocked. Hopefully, uh... Hey, Jason. Yo. I'm at the top of the hill. Um, you're probably like your 10, 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I see you. I think. Yeah, I see your light. Um, do we want to try to bust him out? I mean, I don't really have, this van don't go very fast, but. Oh, Oliver's not getting let go? I don't know. Uh, he had the stuff on him, so they may, I mean, they didn't see us inside the building, so I don't know if they actually have anything on him. So if he sticks to a story that, uh, that, you know, he didn't do anything. He never even went in the buildings. I was the one that was robbing him, so. Um, 
I have I have ores and stuff on me, so I guess my story that I work for the mine checked out better than his. Maybe I think the issue of him is he the st the truck he stole was in his possession, and so it was reported stolen. And did he uh, have blasting caps on him? No, it was some kind of chemical. All right, then they'll probably just get him for the Grand Theft Auto. So as long as it's not blasting caps, it's not illegal. Um, as far as I know, the chemical's not illegal. Um, blasting caps are very illegal. Yeah, we should have put the stuff in the van, but, you know. And the thing is, we had just hopped in the truck when they pulled up. If we wouldn't have even been in a the truck, they probably wouldn't have gotten us for anything. Grand Theft Auto, yep, yeah, the name yeah, of the game, right? Yeah, he was in a stolen <laughs> truck. I mean, best case, they, they towed the truck and he has to get a ride. Yeah, pu Public Works is there now. But yeah, they still had him in cuffs when they let me go. I'm trying to see him in uh, my binoculars. He's probably having a hard time talking to cops right now off the radio traffic. Yeah, he's still cuffed. He's got two cops on him. See, the thing, the thing with Oliver is he doesn't, he talks too much. Um, yep. So if he <laughs> if he could just shut his mouth and and just try to get him to take the truck and you know like he get out of it. Yeah, you want to be as vague as possible. Yeah, he doesn't. He's the opposite of that. <laughs> We're talking trash. He can hear us on the radio still. <laughs> Is he getting arrested? <laughs> oh. We're just talking trash about him. <laughs> Gotta love it. This has been some really fun RP with these guys. Jason's only ever been in, in, in MCs. He was in, um, his backstory is in a lost MC of an Alderney. And then, um, it's a long backstory. I'm not going to go into all of it, but, uh, um, you might actually hear it if I stream the, um, he's in, he's in court mandated AA meetings right now. So um, every Wednesday he's going to AA, or every other Wednesday he has a meeting, and then um, every other Wednesday, opposite Wednesdays, he just checks in with his uh, DH DHS agent. Um, but yeah, he's been in MC life since he was 13. So this, this RP right here, this life that he's living right now with these guys, is like nothing he's ever done before. So it's really interesting to see, see him develop in, in this, you know? Did you guys have, was the truck running when you guys got in it? I can't remember. I think we were just sitting in it. I don't remember if it was running or not. But um, he did admit to taking the truck from Sandy, though, so he did admit to that. Oh, that he, God. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. You can't let him go. <laughs> yeah. Are they putting, I can't tell. It looks like they might be putting him in the back of the car. Nah, he's standing in the front of it. There's three cops, and he's just standing in the front, still cuffed. There's a third cop now? Huh. See, Jason had all this stuff on him that, like, you know... I've tried to talk to him about him and his mouth and stories, and he just, he doesn't care. He doesn't listen. It's whatever. That's all he is. Yeah. The cop, you know, I I was I was in the mine actually mining whenever uh, Oliver uh, asked me to look out or whatever. Now I actually somehow I ended up being the one going inside, and um, so I have ores and stuff on me and a pickaxe and all that, you know. So my story kind of checked out, but then um, but I have the toolkit on me, and the cop was like, "Do you always take a toolkit when you go mining?" I'm like, "Yeah, bro. You never know what might break whenever you're mining, you know. And especially if a cave-in happens, you know, you gotta have a toolkit." Because he was like, "You need a screwdriver to mine," and I was like, "Yeah, my headlamp. What if my headlamp comes loose again? I gotta tighten the screws, you know. Gotta have the uh, screwdriver for that." <laughs> so yeah. you know, you just gotta come up. You just gotta you gotta stick to your truth and don't don't veer from it, you know. Yeah, well, the thing is, is those toolkits tool kits aren't illegal, so I'm not, I don't know what they were looking for with that, but if he said he took the truck, then they, they, I mean, they might as well just take him away. I, I, I mean, they might let him go, but I don't know. I don't understand why he's dressed as he is, too. Yeah, 
Yeah, next time we should all just be in mining outfits, right? Yeah, the last time he and I did it, we were dressed in mining outfits. I had a, a briefcase. We didn't have a vehicle. We just, our story was the, that we had gotten dropped off from a cab and we were there for a job interview. Nice. That's actually a really good way to do that. <laughs> I'm tempted to hit the building up here while they're doing that down there. Bro, you should do it. I'll let you know if they start running towards you. <laughs> Where is it at? Is it at the top? I've, we've already hit the one right behind me. Yeah, it's up at the um, the up towards the actual mine. There's a giant dump truck in front of it right now. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. You would definitely would definitely see them heading towards you before you'd have so much time to get out of. That might actually help him get away because we we could be like you know the damn BF 400s came back. I could come I could go running towards them and be like, bro, the BF 400s came back. They're hitting the other one. You know what I mean or whatever. After you, after you said you're clear. Let me let me go right by it and see. Let me take a look and see what they're doing with him real quick. <laughs> that would be amazing if we could get all of Alidus. Because I can see where he's talking about. It's it's right up right. You can kind of see the light off that dump truck right there. I guess that's the other building that can be hit. If they walk up wondering why you're still there, just start snort, start snoring and be like, oh, sorry, I must have taken a little nap. That's actually a great idea. I'll definitely do that. <laughs> Dozed off, man. They've been working me to death oh, out I'm here. Afraid of that third cop. There was only two down there whenever we were there. Or whenever uh, I was no, there. There's one, in the, there's one in the black pickup. Oh, yep. I see him. Was that like an MCD guy or something? It looked like a special truck. Yeah, I don't know. I, they were dressed in all black, so I don't, I'm not sure. He's still got his lights on, too, but he's over the, uh, over the tracks there. Gonna get, a, gonna get Jason for tax evasion. You know that's the IRS's job. Cops don't arrest you for tax evasion unless you unless the IRS uh, charges you with it, right? <laughs> I can evade all the taxes I want. You can't do anything about it unless the IRS catches me. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> What's that cop doing over there? He's still got his lights on and everything. Well, at least it's easy to tell where he's at, right? Oh, the dump truck's gone. You think they can see me up here? I mean, I could, so probably. Whether or not they're looking, you know, is, you know. But yeah, I can, I can definitely see you. You said be a 400 guys wouldn't be a 400 hit him yeah so you'd, you'd fit that description yeah they're taking a long time with him to verify whether they're arresting him or not he's out of cuffs oh hell yeah He came up with a good story. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they saw you on the bike and they're, they're going to release him and go after you now. I'd be fine with that. I don't have anything on me. True. Yeah. The, you know, they just got, again, they just got the story, you know. Do 
did you guys say what the guys on how many how many guys were there and what were they wearing? Uh, I wasn't specific at all. I just said I saw a black BF four hundred and the peop- the guy was blacked out. I didn't specify numbers or anything. I said it happened all quick. I just heard the bike and it was black. Okay. I, I figured the less detail the better, you know. Yeah. Although I mean, it obviously it sounds like a lie, but I mean, prove that I'm lying. You know, that's your job to prove that I'm lying. I'm gonna ride down by him. I'm actually gonna head to the house in Sandy. I got a someone who wants to uh, give me a list of things he wants to sell. Um, but I'm gonna ride by to see if I can just like add to the story of a guy on a in blacked out on a dirt bike. Don't oh, they're backing up. They're backing out now. Oh, they're leaving. Okay, then never. Yeah, mind. Oliver's walking towards me now. Good yeah, shit. yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> oh man, that's great. You wanna, you wanna oh ride, bro? Oh my god. So what? What took so long? What did they? Uh... Well, uh, apparently that chemical is some serious shit and they had to call in somebody to who was just as confused as well but uh they decided that they're going to confiscate the chemical and then they got me for joyriding for 250 dollars and did it as time served on the spot oh nice how do you root on your window holy shit oh my god hey derek Derek, i'm I'm okay okay. my window seems to be broken here i was trying to roll it down yeah, I saw him let, let you go. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't talk, talk a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh. oh. Are we going to Sandy Shore's house, or? Please. <laughs> All right. Oh, my yeah, God. Okay, okay, so, so what, what I have I learned, learned is that, that uh, potentially, potentially that that that, uh, that, that, that liquid, liquid stuff uh, has, has to be dried out before it can be used. Is used, used in the, the manufacture in uh, in uh, explosives, gunpowder, gun also meat and uh, gardening. The fuck and meat. Yeah, don't, don't ask me. I, I have no. I, I don't know what additives are put in our fucking food, food but I, I, I fucking I, I, think I think we need, we need to, to buy a farm, farm and just grow our own shit. shit. I'm sorry. I grew I was up on in California. I didn't hear anything <laughs> after. I don't talk or I didn't talk a lot. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, that, 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 that potassium, potassium stuff, stuff is, is used in the manufacture, manufacture of, of gun... gun... Oh. One, One sec. sec. Yeah, gunpowder. Oh, you told that cop... We told that cop you didn't really know us, but you know, I'm giving my boss a ride to Sandy, so... Yeah, that's what I told him I was going to ask you to do. Also, also meat, meat and, and fertilizing. fertilizing. Oh, hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. It's the Governor? What about meat? Who was Apparently, that, that shit's used, used in, in, in meat, meat and, and fertilization. fertilization. Yeah, supposedly the recipe needs like uh, the fertilizer. It needs fertilizer, charcoal, the solution. Uh, I don't know. And then, and then uh, also, uh, they, uh, they, said, they something said something about, about drying it out. out. Which kind of, I thought was interesting. I turned too early. I'm sorry, Jason. I didn't mean for your day to take a left turn like it did just now. Nah, bro, it's all good. <laughs> when we do shit like that, I expect cops, you know? Honestly, it probably wouldn't hurt next time we do that to have some oars and shit on us, you know? Like I did. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I guess I got too confident by prior uh, prior tries um, out there. So, Maddie, he's coming up here. He's in a, I'm going to get a list of things from him, so I'm going to take care okay. of that real quick. Do I uh, All right. need to walk away? or? No, no, no. Oh. Definitely not. Jason's very new, so he's a uh, Black Lotus. Interesting. All right. 
Hey, bro, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be mad for one second. Okay, is that a black lotus thing? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. okay. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I, uh, gotta refill my drink. Hear a bike behind us. Hmm? Hear a bike behind us. Yeah. So yeah, maybe he lives in a trailer. Oh, there he is. There it goes. I don't know why my character keeps turning around like that. It's weird. I was just going to say, are you taking my seat? Nah, man, go ahead. Never take an old man's seat, you know? Bad the luck. Fuck? I'll just say, man. It's a respect thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit, where's my food? Might be my van. Uh, no, I think it's in a van. Somebody at the Dumas uh, uh, company uh, telling me that I need to deliver this uh, this this item, um, and it mm. would be waiting at a truck in Sandy Shores. And then everything went sideways. Turns out that the truck is stolen, and the shit that I was delivering was actually some weird, uh, 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 mysterious chemical used in the manufacture of uh, of explosives and uh, the propellant of gunpowder and uh, and uh, the. Uh, edibleness of uh meat and fertilizer when you mm -hmm. when you said that truck was registered to the dumas corporation it took yeah. everything in me to not laugh my ass off oh. <laughs> in front of the cops <laughs> uh, you know later on later i said, later on i said to the lady i said you know i really feel like a like a dumbass and i said <laughs> much like my company and then later on i i i said to the guy i said well you know um Next time I get a call from that fucking doom, dumbass company, and he says, "Wait, you said it was Dumas," and I said, "Yeah, I know I did. I, I, I was, I was making fun of their name," <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so speaking of uh, delivering the, illegal goods, yes, sir. Um, try to try to do that job some more for the with the guy. Oh, and okay. I, 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 I learned. Uh, I got the info on the burner phones, so. Oh. I have a uh, sensitive eyes, just so uh, you know. Yeah, I'm oh. not gonna say anything then. Um, just uh, I can uh, close them for a second no, if I need to. Nah, you're good. I'll uh, I'll speak in a way that won't offend your eyes. 
right. Sounds good. Or <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, just, I might we, remember this later on, but right now I'm fine. We got to try to do the, uh, we got to try to do those delivery jobs and, uh, and, um, and then we can get the phones. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need to be working on that. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Oh yeah. It's pretty yeah, good money. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I mean, so. it's not bad. Any, any cool. other information I'll, I'll, uh, I'll email you. Um, if there's a way to combine that. that with, uh, something well, else, a- you know. I have four diamonds to give you too. I did earn two more stuff. What the fuck? Okay. Um, how long it oh. takes me to get a diamond? And we need Broth- to uh, we need to figure out how to make that uh, frame. Yes. Frame? Yeah. So I thought about contacting V just to see if if he would even tell me like if 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 he would tell me or if he would needed to charge me because I know he knows how to make it. Uh, so. I'm thinking maybe kind a, of... a, a, a different tool other than the hammer, you know? Oh, mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about that 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 thing. Yeah, yeah the thing. Bang, bro. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to turn the slide off. I'm shining it in Ollie's eye, Oliver's eyes. I apologize. Yeah, so while you guys are doing that, I was I was trying to do what I do. So, um, yeah, Jason, you don't... You're good. Like, you know, you don't have to go anywhere or walk away or whatever it's i mean like, if i ever do man like i don't take offense to it i'm you know yeah no i mean used like, to it though you know i mean maddie that was maddie that's uh sonara's friend that was the do you know do you did you ever meet imogen imogen mm. uh belma imogen fox no i don't uh, think i did you did oliver did Jason, I? I don't know if you did. Yes, you did. Once when, when Petal got kidnapped and Imogen came up to Chumash and said oh, she would yeah, murder anybody yeah. that Okay, so she she died. M- Maddie, the, the guy that was just up here, uh that's her brother. Um and that's Sonara's good friend. So um yeah. we've been okay. I asked Sonara and Maddie to help me with something and so then Maddie reached out to me to see if uh he could uh maybe get an in. And then, uh, so then I got the information on the, uh, phones and, uh, I'm going to try to help him out. Um, so, uh, okay. I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, I'm just, you know, we gotta, we gotta get that. I want to try to figure out how to make that uh frame. So mm. I don't know. I'm not sure going. if I know just, what you're talking about, but is that just to, to build regular, uh, regular ones that it, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be more specific than that, I guess. Yeah, but... <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. I don't know. Imogen had orange hair, and she, she was dressed in all black, and she came up to Chumash with guns and said, I'm going to murder anybody that hurts Buttle, because she owned toe beans. Oh, okay, I remember her now. Yes, yes. We're on the Holy side shit. of the plaza along GOH. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's, oh, that's my God. That's her brother that came up here. She's dead so. now? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, she got in a car accident. Oh, so, um, what else was there to tell? Um, I don't know. There's a lot going on. Let me text this guy real quick about, um, let's see if he's even awake. What do you guys think? What do you guys think going to do now? Oh, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a, uh, one of those deliveries. Um, uh, I was looking at the roadhouses open. I was thinking, do I need any more food? But I don't. I'm going to, I'm going to email, uh, email you guys. Real quick. Okay. You know what I like? Like, I know I told you, Oliver, about, like, um, you know, I wanted to move, like, move explosives and things like that. Like, I've been so busy the past couple weeks. I like it. I've noticed you've been busy. You've been doing a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'll be around a little more the next couple of days. Um, I'm kind of taking a little time off because... uh, Good. uh, I don't don't know if I mentioned to you, but back in Ireland, your your Aunt uh, Aunt Patricia passed away. So I'm just going to take a few days and kind of take it easy. So I'll be around town here a little bit. Maybe I'll do some odd jobs and stuff. Okay. Yep. No, I didn't hear, but... Yeah, Yeah, well, you didn't know her, so there you go. Nope. 
Sorry, bro. I just saw where you emailed me. I didn't, uh, didn't notice that nah. earlier. Oh, you're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Teller, Jake Teller McFall. Does anybody know him? Sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. I'm down if even if we're just doing something chill and you know, not not stressful. It's all good to me. Is there a lot of people living up in Sandy nowadays? Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna, um, so I'll put my van up and I'll grab, like, a bite and I'll, uh, do some deliveries if that's what we need to be working for. So is that, is it a, yeah. is it a reputation thing? Like, you know, yeah, kind of got to yeah. keep, okay. Yep. That's I was wondering any idea was on thing. how long it'll, you know, is it one of the things that's gonna protract? Um, well, probably, huh? You know, you know how long it takes to get from... Recycling center one to recycling center two. Yeah, yeah, it's probably or how long, that. or how long it takes to move ten bands to forty bands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. So basically, it. Oh, that, that happens band behind this is the band that I wanted to buy. That's oh yeah. Old. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> it's at the commercial oh, lot shit. though. It's not a Isn't Moses a... anymore. Oh, is, that's oh. not a regular surfer. No, it's a yoga. No, that was uh, a oh. Mm -hmm. oh, you know that yeah. you can get your rusty surfer. Uh, you can get it uh, renovated at that uh, place that you showed me when we were doing garbage down there. Um, down there in the industrial area, like the One, the slideways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll up. They'll um. They've got uh, a kit that they'll they'll do and they'll renovate it for like 18 grand they'll renovate your rusty van and turn it into a bright sparkly shiny new one oh well let me just run down there and spend that much money on my surfer van <laughs> well yeah that was my thing it was like well wait for 15 grand <laughs> i can get the other one and why 18 for this one and i guess they gotta yeah. spend a lot of time scraping it maybe that's what they use the uh the nacl whatever the fuck it was whoa, 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 whoa. so to upgrade your rusty surfer to like like new, it's eighteen thousand dollars, but you can buy yeah a new surfer van yeah. for fifteen. I yeah, well, no, they've they can also upgrade the regular surfer van, but it's cheaper. I I don't quite get the math in it, but uh, I got oh. two surfer vans, and I don't give a shit what they look like. They just parked over at the. You know. Shit, do you have all the all all of her? Holy shit! I got so much memorabilia, and I've been trying to put it into boxes that are labeled, but I so fucking hard. yeah. I I oh. I just started doing that. Yeah, the, I just discovered the uh, label boxes. Those yeah. things are badass. I I need to consolidate it, but because uh, I never go down to uh, Vespucci very much anymore. Uh, yeah. I got mm -hmm. memorabilia. I've been noticing a lot of people posting site things on 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 uh, the Twitter that uh, are showing some of the things that I just fucking happen to have around or like highly collectible. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about getting an apartment somewhere. Is there is there any apartments near Chumash? No. I mean, um, yeah, there's one by the pier that's out right off GOH a little bit. There's actually two by the pier on, on either side of the highway. How much are they? Uh, two, wait, 250 a week, I think. For an apartment? Oh, for an apartment? Those are like 7000 a month or 6000 a month. Shit. Yeah, they're, they're crazy yeah. expensive. Yeah. Damn, I was just wanting some place to store my shit, you know, did I? Yeah. And uh, buying a house doesn't seem like it. Well, I mean, buying a house is like half a million, and it's, is the storage any better than the apartment, or? Uh, no. No. The storage is terrible. Like, there's the storage is terrible. So I might as well get an apartment, then. Yeah. Yeah, storage is bad. Hmm. That's, like, I have two surfer vans full of things. And you have a house. And a business. God damn. And yeah. an office. Bro, you should have yeah. plenty of storage. No. How much is that office? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. 11000 is... a month. Yeah, go figure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We need to be selling a lot more weed, bro. <laughs> make yeah. That baby. Yeah. Well, if you get it's that expensive. thing, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier to. I mean, check it's it you know. If you let us use it. What? I didn't hear the what you basement. Said, the basement. Oh yeah. The, no, that that's. Yeah. I'm gonna have so much weed. I'm not gonna know what to do. We need we need to open up the. Uh, the um. Crap! I forget the name of it. My bad. I work. I'm employed there. It's Carnage. Right. Carnage. Yeah. Yeah. We need to. We oh, need yeah. to Carnage. Carnage. We need to open that up and. Make sure we're making 11 grand a month for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Monday. Hopefully Monday when Pedal's back in town. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's kind of her baby. I mean, we could do it. I just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was thinking, you know, she's got that car that's like the one I've got. Um, the old one. Mm, the Starlet. And I was thinking maybe we can have like a, a thing where if they, if they want to uh, destroy two cars, they can use... Uh, the one I got too. Yeah. Make a little maybe. more money that way. They can have I... like a destruction party. Oh, I have a, I have a, I parked an Albany Esperano, like a cheap, it's like a fifteen hundred dollar car or something like that. So um, mm. parked it there too. I don't know if y'all guys want it or not, but I'll, I'll like just transfer it to pedal. You or pedal? I think they're all in pedal's name, right? Yeah, they're all going to pedal. So I'll just transfer it to her if, if you guys want that car. But sure. It'd be a good one. It'd probably be a cheap one to repair, so it'd probably be a good one. Yeah, I need to talk to her more about getting the paperwork with the lawyers so that we can have them rent people rent multiple vehicles and do a demolition derby. Yeah, we need to at, at the very least get a liability form because you should have seen some of the ones I got them to write out. Uh, one of them said, "I will kill you if I get injured." Oh. The other okay. said, "I will kill you and and haunt you if I get killed." <laughs> and uh, yeah, finally they got around to releasing liability. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> Yeah. They finally signed one, but it was like, you know, if we had one yeah. ready-made, you know, that would be really helpful. Any chance you remember the name of the other person? Uh, not off the top of my head, but I can tell you that I gave the slips to, uh, to Pedal, so I don't remember if the, she wrote her name on there, but she might have. Okay. Once I get the name, I'm going to um, see who they associate with through Bishop's mm -hmm. Chicken and through the business directory, and I'm going to see if I can link them to Auto Exotic and the people that were riding around robbing people. Oh, yeah, I get you. Well, you, when you say Bishop's Chicken, I, I'm thinking purple. You know, I'm well, pretty balls, sure that balls, balls yeah. are. So, yeah, because we well, were out there the one day and there were a lot of balls there. It, my only thing with that, okay, well, two things, is the car was red and the underglow was oh, red. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's true. I remember that. Biz, Paddle owns a business on the south side, and she has no association with the Ballas or KTB oh. or whatever they are called now. Oh. Okay. I don't well, know. I, just, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in coincidence. Who rocks so, yeah. I, mean, I know DDMC. Oh, no, the, the minute that that they were down there waiting for us was the minute mm -hmm. that it was. Yeah, it was kind of suspect, you know. Yeah. Jason, yeah, were I mean, you, the, you weren't there. 
No. We opened up. So there was a group robbing people at businesses, and we were told up in Chumash that it was uh, they were in a, a, a blacked out car, like it was red with red un- underglow, yeah. um, black tinted windows. So we opened Carnage cars, and um, and we drove out to the other side by Mirror Park to Auto Exotic. And the guy was talking to me about what we do and how much we make and every uh, you know other question. I'm just telling him whatever because I'm not thinking anything of it. And when we leave, Pedal gets a phone call, right? Like a minute, two minutes, whatever, after we leave. Of people asking if they can go go there. And she's like, of course. And then we had something come up. And we get up to the office. And that car is exactly where we told them we'd be. But we never told them that's where we sh- they should go. They were down there waiting for us down in the underground parking we never told them to go down there. Exactly. They had no. The, Our the ping was only way up. Thing, yeah. the only thing that would have told them to go there was the person that was working at Auto Exotic asking mm-hmm. me all the questions. So Pedal doesn't seem to think anything of it, which is fine. That's whatever. But I don't believe that. No, I don't she, believe she, that. That's like you said, she she doesn't really think like a. A criminal. Uh, well, yeah, I guess if you put it to that. Yeah, it's kind of blunt. Well, it sounds but, like uh, yeah. When, because you're dealing with a lot of cash too, we, yep. we need to be all hands on deck when yeah. we open up. Then, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, like, so they were if, we, if we got ten employees, have ten employees. You know what I mean? Like, because uh, yeah. I mean, if they want to fuck around or follow us standing around, that you know they can find out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we are looking for a, a repair shop to do to work with, and and I told Pedal I do not feel comfortable working with Auto Exotic until I know for sure they had nothing to do with that. She doesn't yeah. seem to think it's a big no. deal, but I I don't I'm not okay with that because there's no one else, no not one other person in any way knew that that's where we were doing that. Yep. So it's very strange. Yeah, yeah. and then we all I mean, we all were up, and I had my gun out and everything, and then they kind of took off. Mm-hmm. But they just they just took off. They didn't even talk to you. No, the so the there were four in the car. And they were waiting down there, and we were waiting up where we told them to go. And it took a, it took a long time for them to finally come up. And we were waiting, and then the two guys in the car were kind of hanging around, and I had my gun out because I didn't know what they were going to do. And then the the two women came up and asked why I had my gun out. And then uh, the guys kind of took off slowly and towards the whatever they went west and then north on that road i can't think of the name of the road right there off of boulevard del perro um oh. because and and they and that was the car they were the people robbing businesses and they, they never they never did do the uh did a rental uh i think they did I had oh yeah, yeah they did they, the, well the two not women the did. ones in the car but the two women that you know yeah yeah so if mm. two of the four did, but the other so, two kind of stayed on the side, and they were the ones in the red car, I believe. One of yes, one of the one of the women was Barbie, who delivered chicken to us on the beach for the bachelor party. Mm. And I just need the name of the other woman, so then I can start um, seeing who they're connected to, as far as who the other two guys were. Oh yeah. Wow. Because that's what I like to do. Yeah, and the red underglow and red paint—they just may be fans like to color red, you know. That might not even... Yeah. Like yeah. I'm, I'm wearing a red shirt, but I'm not, you know, associated with any red gangs, you know. So here's yeah. here's the other thing too. Um, how many, uh, how many car repair shops can you name that have gone to war with a gang? Um, RCC is the only one I can think of. Yeah, they've been gone oh, forever. Jesus. So supposedly, I don't know what the extent of it was, but supposedly Auto Exotic and KTB were at war. I don't really understand how that works, but I I've guess never, KTB. I never knew Auto Exotic was like connected like that. Yeah, so there's another thing. I don't know um, beyond that. I don't know anything. It could have been just a misunderstanding. Um, I cannot remember if it was a, actually a cop that told me. Um. But yeah, I, I I don't know. That's all I know about that. So that's, I mean, that's a little um, vague. But it's I still mean, the fa- the fact that that's happened, and they've been through that is kind of suspect. Yeah, I mean, two years ago, Auto Exotic was just like they hosted like off road races and raffles and shit, you know. But what mm-hmm. they are today, I have no idea, you know. 
Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I want to find out. Yeah. I want to work with Wicked. I, I mean, they're right by there, too. I love going there. They're always nice. I think they're still around. Yeah, uh, so is that the one by the right pier? The beach, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. like a block away. That's where you got the limo done. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, did they move okay. their shop? Uh, aren't they the ones there uh, uh, downstairs from the pier? Um, in, I, uh, is that not Wicked? I don't know. Because they were they were on the other side by the uh, gun, the ammunition. Maybe they moved over to... I, I remember where we went by the pier. I don't remember that being Wicked. But, it, you know, let me see if... Uh, What's your know. name? Evie's That's where way. you got the limo done. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't remember what the name of the place was, if that was even Wicked. Oh, she's awake. I'm going to text her real quick. The one that did uh, work for us at uh, Wicked. How often is uh, Remy open? Oh, so oh, very she's, often. She's there right now. She's awake. Oh, is she? You want to yeah. go down there? I got some stuff um, to sell. Yeah, I gotta go to buy Chumash, but yeah, I um, I got a, uh, got like some gems and stuff to sell and gold. Yeah, I'll I'll go down. I got a few things in my pockets. Should I give her a call or just yeah, see so if she's gonna stay open? Okay. Yeah, I'd call because she's busy. Actually, I think I got a gem on me. I got a gold ore on me, but uh, I'm not going to go smelt it just for that. But I got like four or five gold bars at the uh, Chumash. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm actually going to put all these ores in, uh, in the van. Hi, Remy, it's Ollie. If somebody cut, robs on a van, it's whatever. <laughs> you know. Just gonna throw that stuff in there. Keep that, we'll set out the Remy. I'll give Ollie his box back. Okay, she's good. I told her about 15 minutes. What's the story on that thing? Um, we give you your box local. back. A local oh, crash oh hell yeah, up. thank you. Thank you. I gotta fucking put this somewhere. Uh, can I put this in the house somewhere, uh, Derek? How heavy is it? Ten pounds. Possibly. You can try. Okay. Well, no, you know what? Just, uh, I'll, uh... Oh, let me give you your toolkit back. Oh, uh, god, now I'm gonna be... Oh, sorry. Are Way you, down. Uh, uh, weighing you down? I mean, I can hold on to it if you need me to. Okay. No, no, I'll, I'll just, I'll go down the street. Will you guys meet me at the, uh, the parking lot over there? Yeah. Okay. Where? Right back. You want to just ride in the van or? Sure. Yeah, let me Oliver. make sure the door's unlocked. Oliver, I can give you a ride. Oh, okay. I'm carrying 10 oh, pounds in a box, box so, so yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. I love this van, the sliding door. It's such a Jason van too. Or is that it's, uh, it's right behind the store, uh, right? Yeah, right behind the store there. Where I suppose that they got that truck. <laughs> Bro, they, they, they knew that thing was stolen right away. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Annoying, jeez. There's too too fucking uh, 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 efficient. <laughs> He's a filthy criminal. Yeah. But hey, they gave me my gun back, so that's good. We're gonna switch over to uh, the rock. I, had a, I was in a hip-hop mood earlier, but I'm gonna 
switch it over to uh, classic rock. It's more of a Jason thing, anyways. God, this song right here, every uh, every high school party would be playing this song. Came out whenever I was uh. All right. A junior in high school, I think. All right, we're going to Chumash. Yep, sounds good. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw that jewelry store in, uh, in Legion Square, I think it was. But uh, I remember you guys telling oh, yeah. me that Remy buys the stuff for more, so I just held on to it. Yeah. Hey, maybe we're in Chumash. Uh, uh, I've got... So I don't know exactly what I got in my truck, but I do I have some stuff from the mine, so I'll check it and see if maybe I got something she might buy. Oh, I don't yeah. think I do. Should put a turbo in this thing. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Let it be a sleeper, you know? You know, I'm thinking I did upgrade the Razor because of, uh, I'm remembering now I went, uh, directly over to that garage there by, uh, by the Vespucci Pier. I had him paint it, and I think I did also the upgrades then. Yeah, I need to upgrade my, uh, delivery by, so, uh, the top speed on is, like, right, right at 100. Hmm. Which isn't bad, you know. Like it turns yeah. good, and it it goes off road good. So, yeah, so. Oliver, it's wicked that that they moved to the place on by the pier. Okay, okay, good. Sorry, Jason. No, you're good, bro. What the hell is that thing? I oh, know, it's I was a fan. Wondering that too. Oh. Oh. kind of want it now. Damn. I could, I could you know they've that got thing on the beach. You've got one of those tourist vans, uh, the ones that, uh, you know, have the glass roofs, uh, driving around by Chumash Pier now. Uh, I only ever saw it by, uh, the theater there in Vinewood. I've never seen oh, it yes. driving around. Yeah, I saw that the other day, too. Yeah. I was wondering what the hell they were touring out there. Oh, well, I guess it's beach. Maybe they were just, you know. You know what? They're coming to see the tea shop. You know, we're a fucking attraction now. Hell yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder what they were thinking of doing with that, you know, like, what they thought I was doing with that liquid stuff, because I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad the cops didn't give any hints. I'm like, oh, yeah, this shit's used yeah. to make, you know, fill in oh, the Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did they let you have, keep it? No. No, they didn't. They said they were going to take it. Did they say why? Okay. Uh, they did not, but I was playing, uh, dumb about the whole thing, so I just said, I don't give a shit about it, uh, this whole thing is, is sour. I was talking about it like it was a job that, uh, had gone sour. It was a job mm. that had gone sour? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, but, like, a legitimate job that turned out to be not legitimate, you know, and... Yeah. I just, I'm just, I'm curious as to why a chemical would be, uh, illegal like that. It might not have been. Might have. I think he didn't just, he just gave it to them, right? Yeah, I mean, it was like I didn't want it to seem too important to me, you know? Like if, you know, the harder I pulled, the more they would push, you know what I mean? For sure, yeah. I get it. I'm just wondering if it's illegal, actually illegal or not. Oh, that, that person can drive. Shit. Wow. 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 I, just go, just go, just go around them. I think they're. They might oh, be dead is their the car dead? Yeah. I think so. The way they were driving me. No, they're think... coming up fast, I think. Is that them? No, no, that's somebody else. It just made me think they were trying to get some attention. Yeah. Oh, well, they get all the attention they want now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh.
Jennifer, I want that thing on your shoulder back that I left here. Thanks. That's mine. All right. So maybe yeah, I replaced it. It's my belongings. Do I need to call the police? Wanna help her with this? Oh. Uh, give me one sec. Hey, Oliver. I never said that yes, it sir. wasn't my property. I never said I was throwing it away. Okay. Well, it's just it. Well, I mean, she she's not giving me back my toy that I that that I left here. I'm not trying to rob her at all. If you threw it away, then... You no, threw I didn't it throw away. it away. It fell off me after she knocked me out. Left? I said I... You said I left it, and I want it back, and then I, then you said I'm throwing it away. No. Didn't throw it away. It fell off my shoulder. I don't know what you're talking... She, she's not giving me my cockatoo back. Sir, you legit said... My cockatoo fell on the floor. It's dirty. I don't want it anymore. So you're just gonna no, leave it here. No, I didn't say I don't want it. Oh. I said I was gonna leave it here and go get some cleaning stuff and come back. I'm sorry you guys didn't hear that. Look, yeah, I just want what's mine gonna, back. You're gonna leave it on the ground and go and then come back for it. That's Since you're a what gang, you're... what? No, so what you're saying is like she accidentally you know because she, she suffers from ticks you know like the best of us she's saying she had a tick knocked you out which is kind of sad and then your cockatoo fell off and he picked it up and he said it's dirty i don't want it anymore threw it on the ground well, i've never said that well you just said you said that you, you said that and then you were going to come back and get something to clean it i never said i didn't want it anymore Looks like it's not yours anymore. Look, I just want so. my cockatoo back. I don't know what the big deal is. Why are you stealing my stuff? No, if you threw it on the fucking ground, it's not stealing. Well, then I still want it back. You didn't make it clear that you wanted it back. So you're stealing from me. I mean, we could we could we could figure this out in court. I'm fine with civil court. It's definitely my property, though. I don't see your it's name on the fucking fun. cockatoo. It's on it's, her My phone, name's literally yours. cockatoo. Stay out of this. I'm just saying. No, I don't want to fight for it. You must not love it enough. You just want to argue for it. it. No, I just, so, I just you, want wait, it. So mine. Let me get this straight. You threw it on her ground. I mean, this, this is her property. Okay. You threw it down on her ground. That's her property. You, you littered on her property. I just want my cockatoo back. So you littered on her property. Is that what I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. I just want my cockatoo back. It's not yours anymore. You fucking threw it on the ground. It's literally mine. It was no, created it's, for me. It's, no, it's not anymore. It's not yours. All right, all right. I'll just, uh, I'll just call a lawyer. Yeah, you do that. You guys good? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. No, I don't... No, I don't want uh, you to uh, buy uh, it. I want it back. Um, Jason, do you want to drive your mine. van? I don't have a. I have a Roosevelt. I can drive. Here, let me this, let me look at my truck for a, a second. Actually, I saw you pull that out, man. Thing. I'm down to ride in that or or the van okay. either way. Yeah, I'll get the Roosevelt. No, I didn't. Actually, I'm gonna change real quick though, so I'm not all dirty uh, going into yeah, the fancy store. Yeah, I did not store. throw it on the ground. Okay.
I love tension RP. Shout out to whoever the public works guy is. I know he's uh, he's he's doing some good RP. I know we uh, we uh, we butted in there a little bit. But uh, that's all in character stuff, you know. Whoever he is, OOC. Um, he's a fellow New Day RP -er. Hats off to him. Is finders. Yeah, it's just my opinion. And you said you that like we, looking like a highlighter. Uh, <laughs> so how was that an, an insult? Okay, you I gotta, guess it's... You gotta think about seat three or... Um, you gotta think know, about the seat. It's not out. illegal to write on the outside, though. No, it's not? No. Then you refuse me serving. I wanted to knock that guy in the fucking face, but, uh, they look like they got the handled in the center territory to handle this yeah, shit. So, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I like that. They they need to cite that that case, that famous case of losers or weepers versus finders keepers. I mean, I'm sorry, you you littered on her <laughs> property. She picked up the litter yeah. off the ground. That's her exactly. litter at this point. You know what I mean? He it stood sucks, there sucks. and said, "I fucking." Uh, he fucking said that, and then he says, "I was leaving to get something," and then he's gonna come back for it. It's like, what the fuck? He's definitely about to fuck around and find out though, because there's a lot of yeah, fucking edge riders know, down there. I know. I <laughs> know. Before we get there, I gotta uh, be my head for one second. Okay. okay. We'll be right back, guys. Oh shit, they asked me earlier, uh, Derek, they're all, do you have any weapons or anything? I completely forgot I had a fucking gun on me. Oops. Now, you got a oh gun here. Oh my god. And I was, it turned out to be my gun, luckily. Oh, are we alright? Yeah, the local in, in that gray car just went crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know what the locals are on. I always turn at the wrong spot. I do that uh, over there by the, the college. Yeah. Every time. So do we mm -hmm. rob this jewelry store too or no? We could. What? Wait, yeah, that's hostage. the one she works just, at, isn't just, it? Just, just out of habit, you know? Yeah. We'll just walk in and be like, here, we're, we're here to do some business. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, good there's times. our getaway car. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's a nice car, bro. Yeah. Hmm. Oops, sorry. For these guys. It's always very busy in here. Hmm? That's nice. Oh, I actually have four gold ores. Hmm. Upside information. Let's check this out. Shit.net. That is amazing. Oh my goodness.
Hi. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Oh, pretty good. good. Awesome, here, awesome. To sell you things. You're here to sell me shiny oh, shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all Ollie. I called you a little bit ago. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, is everything out in the truck or do you have it on you oh. or well, it's actually it's actually our friend here, Jason, that has oh. most of it. I, I've got some. I don't know if you want it. It's some um, gold ore. I've got four gold ores, but I don't um, know if you take those. I only take the smelted ingots, oh. um, like the bars. I can't really work with it until it's kind of processed. So. Oh okay. Um, I got but you. if you if you smelt it um, and bring it back, I can definitely buy it from you. Oh okay. All right. Do good you buy to know. Crystals? Thank you. Uh, I do take crystals and diamonds as well. Okay. Right. I have six crystals. Yeah, I'll definitely buy them from you. If you uh, if you want to set them down, I can take a look at them. Yeah, let me just place uh, them in the back here, and I'll uh, place it on the table here. Yeah, wicked. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Also, does anybody here have a drink that I could, like, have? Absolutely. Yeah, I got you. Here you go. I was going to say no, borrow, I got it. I got but it. that's just a weird thing. You don't really ask to borrow some liquid, you know? Like, that's just, you know. You can't really there you go. It's in the bag nearest me. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So I actually I have these six gemstones. So that'll be 1800. Okay. Jeez. Wow. Listen, you're the best. Literally lifesaver. I'm about to pass no out. No worries. No worries. All right. So I'll give you cash. Okay. Thank you. I had a bottle of gin, but I figured, you know, you're on the job. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want to see me drunk at work. Trust okay. me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad news it's for like, everybody. It's like, well, uh, <laughs> why did I pay that much for that last night? Jesus. <laughs> All right. So you have six crystals. So that would be 1,800 plus another 1,000 in gold. So you're looking at 2,800 cash. Perfect. Sounds great. All right. Cool. I love your website, by the way. Sparklyshit.net. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate I that. It. Yeah, I kind of uh, committed to the, uh, the awesome uh, domain name, so. Hell yeah. Happy with that decision. <laughs> Easy to remember. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. You guys have a great day and stay yes. safe. Yep. Take thank care. you. We'll yep. see you soon. Take care. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bro, mining definitely makes money when you sell to her. Holy shit. Yep. All right. Oh, at some point, I'll get down there and smelt this shit. Did either of you sell her some gold? I did. No. Oh, you did? How, how much did she take for the gold? Uh, or I give you two, for the gold? I think it was 200 a bar. Oh, sweet. Which is like double what the uh, local guy mm -hmm. will, you know. Hell yeah. 300 a gem, hey. bro. That's fucking insane. How much does mm -hmm. a diamond sell for? Uh, Derek. I don't know. Do we have time to stop at the hotel by the pier over here? I can check my van and see if there's anything interesting in it. I haven't been in there in sure. a while. Yeah, oh, I cool. I have no plans. Okay. This car is amazing. You know where it is, right? Yep. Okay. He bought this car in 1.0, so the entire brotherhood at the, at the, that time could uh, could all ride together. We got in trouble for riding on the outside of it. Yeah, Jason. this is by far my favorite car. Jason doesn't know that though. Oh yeah, man, I fucking love this car. Like we need like a, a Tommy gun, yeah. you know? We'll rob a yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? We need to rob a bank in this car, bro. Sure, I have an outfit already for it. Hell yeah. My uh, my friend, one of my friends, Katie, she got a you know the what a flapper dress is. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah she's got a she has got a flapper dress. It was pretty sweet. Oh Hell yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, and we could have. Um, I feel like. How does the cartel feel about six people in the bank? That's that's a cool, right? Yes. So we could like literally, <laughs> yep, six feet. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fucking amazing. Yes, it would. Okay. Got to figure out how to make that uh, make the thing. Yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me tag along with all this, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know that you're uh, 
you know, you're doing your thing with drinking and everything, but there's, I always keep, keep some drinks in the uh, glove box. Um, and if you want, you know, like, if it makes you uncomfortable, I'll just, you know, I can move them out, but. Nah, bro, you're good. Okay. All right, Oliver, you good? Yeah, there's not much in there anymore. I think I moved most of the stuff up to Sandy Shore. There's a few tools, uh, some, uh, some old, uh. Almost. Everybody that thinks they can drive can't drive, right? I mean, isn't Jesus. that like, yeah. I got, I yeah. got those race cars and, you know, just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should just move it uh, up there to too much. I don't know. I'll think about it, it later. Are you gonna think about uh, it? Okay. Are we heading back there now, or? I literally have nowhere to go. I'm just driving because that's our plan. Maybe we could watch oh. that show that was going on before we left. See if uh, the runners. Uh... Okay. Well, yeah. Let me grab the van and I'll bring it up with me, and um, that way I'll have it there. Kind of. Oh, I didn't realize we'd gone this far. Uh, yeah, there's not much in there. I mean, really, it's... I I got most of it and consolidated it, but uh, okay. there's some stuff left over from uh, back in the oh, day. Okay. Some menus and no, uh, I'm not. I'm streaming. flyers and whatnot. You Binoculars. You don't be quiet. Why? Just don't say any of your... Per don't say your social security number or address or anything like that. No. Don't just randomly say that stuff, you know? You'll be fine. All right. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Yeah. Um, From two years ago. Wow. It still smells good. That's some good lotion, man. Good night, babe. Yeah, screw that door. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like I should have gotten in the front seat now for like a um, getting chauffeured. Hey, you're good. You know what? what? The locals are going crazy. Yeah, bro. The locals have been crazy. Green light. Jesus. You know, you know how they have those limo services. Yeah. Honestly, I would pay more to get a get a chauffeur in this than I would a limo. Huh? You know what I mean? Never thought about it. Yeah. Never even Actually, thought about you, that. You guys own a limo too, though, don't you? Yeah. There you yeah, go. You, you got a damn uh, uh what, what do they call it? Is it an escort service? I mean, no, that sounds that sounds like something else, though. But y yes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break check Oliver. Um, yeah, I bought the limo for a jewelry robbery. Didn't really work nice. out. Nice. Oh, shit. Almost you, got. <laughs> you bought a limo just to rob a jewelry store? Yep. That's badass, man. Like that. That's, That's what, what I, I do. do. It's my kind of people. Yeah, it was a. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> I hate street <laughs> racers. Now, damn, we need to send my trucks now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh she's flipping you off. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, shit. I'll say it's the steering. <laughs> yeah, it's got no power steering, you know? Yeah. Hey, I was, I was in the middle lane. I wasn't in their lane. Yeah, exactly. A cockatoo tweet. I just want to park, please. Yeah, I hate street racers. Yeah. No, I, I, I hate uh, street racers. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that other guy's not here, so I guess he got chopped up in little pieces. And... Yeah, he's in the garbage bags that are right over there. You see those garbage bags? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. There what you happened? go. Nothing? Oh. Did you see Did you see me driving, driving recklessly around the street racers? Oh, I didn't see the street racers. Okay. I How know did... how things make sense. Oh. Uh, maybe it's because you were driving recklessly that they uh, calmed down. I don't know. I don't know. I was I was I wasn't in their lane. I was in the middle of the road. I think, maybe. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, uh, I, that's, I didn't hit them. That's them too. Yeah. Nah. It was funny. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now what? 
I don't, I don't know. Uh. Hmm. hmm. I know. It's like one of them days where it's kind of too late to start anything and too early to call it a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate it like that. Mm. Do a maybe do a one of those deliveries to work a rip up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we could do one of those. Sure. That good. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, you might if we take. Uh, uh, well, it doesn't. I don't. My car doesn't fit four people, does it? My razor. Shit. Oh. We can take the van. Uh, I, I'll follow you in my razor because I got all my vehicles here. I don't have any in Sandy Shores, so I need to have one there. Oh, okay. okay. I'll just yeah. take oh, my, actually, my dirt you know, bike I can up there, then. And then, uh, I can take the starlight. I can take the starlight. That's four seats. Okay. You guys yeah, yeah. Want, want to go on that? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to cover the screen for a little bit. I'm going to go to be right back. Um, let's see. No, we're gonna go intermission. There we go. We'll go intermission screen, because uh, I, I didn't I didn't realize my webcam would turn on. But hey, hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> oh, okay, I thought he was gonna get in. Sorry about that. I was semi in my head whenever uh we were talking there. So if you were. Just, just drive away. It never happened. If you get away fast enough, insurance can't do nothing about it. <laughs> I just realized that my uh, my stream labels is inactive. Hold on. I didn't notice it until I switched to that screen. Stream labels. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I can't talk on the radio. All right, perfect. It updated. It should be it's still this way, right? The house and the guy. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> my eyes are closed right now, but my, you know, the hearing isn't, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll really work on that a lot, you know, and well, I guess we have to work on it a lot, right? Because uh, it's probably going to be a a while before we uh get to wherever we need to be. Yeah, hey, at least we got something to do, you know, something to work towards. Man, I really like his car. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not big on four wheels. I'm, I'm a motorcycle guy, but uh, muscle cars are nice, man. <laughs> I know that he doesn't like it. Oh, you guys can't hear him. I just realized that. I got to change that. I can't do it tonight, but I'll, I'll change that. They're fucking way behind. What are they doing? Like the whole map? What the hell? Roxy, no. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, trying to do the whole state, man. That's a, that's a long-ass race. Yeah, I apologize that you guys can't hear him. Yeah, my buddy John, he was uh he was in DDMC. He was in a street racing scene and I, I rode with him on a couple of races. Yeah, 
back when RCC was uh, around and was doing it. But uh, I was never, never wanted to like buy a race car and do it, you know. Yeah. Oh, major headache. Uh oh. Is my internet crapping us off? Internet's crapping us off. Oh, no, okay, it wasn't me. Why oh, is interesting the server lag made my stream lag? Huh. <laughs> you know, it's fucking artificial intelligence these days, you know. It's gonna it's gonna take over the world, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still got some stuff on me too, but it's all good. I got a lot of stuff on me, actually. Holy crap. Oh, he does have a lot of alcohol in the... Uh... It's not bad, actually. This car's pretty nice, you know, for, for a car like this. As much as you should speed it up. For real. insane my uh my adverse got blown up and it was like a 300 dollars repair somebody hauling ass in a race car uh took me out but it was my fault though because i was doing a u-turn so luckily they just knocked me off balance and i just kind of slid the bike you know but All right, time to get to work. Uh, I'm going to do a long one. I mean, it's up to you, bro. You don't have to do a long, bro. You, you, you know, do, do you, man. Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys, there's just uh, a location I don't want to show in stream. That's why we're uh, in, the, in the intermission screen right now, but we'll uh, we'll bring the uh, stuff back up in a second. And I apologize if you can't hear them. I um, I do have an intermission screen that mutes the uh, all audio, or well, all game audio, and that's when we're in now. I'm going to make a... <laughs> I wish you could hear Oliver right now. <laughs> He's losing his mind. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna make a new intermission screen, a secondary intermission screen that includes the game audio, and and so you can hear them in the background. There, there are certain situations where you wouldn't want to be able to. Yeah, you're good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're following one of us, that'd probably draw more attention than anything, you know? All right, bro. 
Sounds good, man. Same goes to you. He must have done a short one because uh, he, he only loaded a couple of bags in. Got like six bags to load. Holy crap. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Just kind of stumbled upon this and it ended up being something that we uh, we needed to be doing anyway, so. We're just gonna drive for a while, and then I'll uh, I'll randomly open the screen, and you guys won't know where we were. No free meta. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot the webcam turned on whenever uh whenever I went to the screen. Glad I have clothes on. That's good. You almost got an after after dark not a gamer. That wouldn't have been good. Oof. What's going on here? Uh bro, the sunset over the mountains right now is fucking amazing. All right, it's uh, just wanted to protect the location of uh, where that guy's at. Not that we're gatekeeping anything. It's just that I don't want to give anything away for free. You know, we had to earn earn that location, and so uh, I want to post it on on a stream for anybody to see. Sunset is beautiful though, look at that. Holy crap. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a nap. That police deposit your pickaxe is driving me crazy. It's been on all night. I um I went to go grab my pickaxe and instead I accidentally went and started a, another order and uh so that thing's been on there all night. Yeah, oh, you stupid, you stupid motherfucker! Oh, the, oh, you yeah, you better drive off, bro. I, mean, I was trying to illegally pass you. You didn't have your blinker on. <laughs> this is how you get caught doing this stuff, right? Like, they don't even have to make these cars stolen. It's just us doing dumb crap. And I'll probably have a headlight out now. I do. Good. There's an excuse for a cop to put me over right there. <laughs> it's how criminals get caught in real life, you know? Good. I'm going behind Chumash. That's not going to be sus at all. <laughs> okay. Is it the main one? What oh, it? Wait, hold on. That's, that's getting dangerous and stupid. Let's uh, pull over and look. Oh no. Okay. Good. I'm not going behind the one that's owned. I was going to say that would be awkward. All right. I got over here, there's a sus, sus car sitting here, and I was like, what's going to happen? Heard some sirens and stuff, but nothing came of nothing. Are you need anything, just holler at me. Okay. Likewise.
You guys by chance know if these vehicles are stolen? I don't know. I do not. Sorry, go ahead. I, I would just be careful. Yeah. At least around a cop. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm going 98 miles an hour, so... I guess I could be more careful, but I don't want to be fucking... Yeah, I was all weekend, you know? Yeah, I was driving pretty stupid on a uh, 68, but I'm gonna calm down now I'm on GOH. As I go opposite lanes. <laughs> Where am I delivering this? Oh. Okay. Ever notice your GPS goes on the fritz when you go through this tunnel up here, come out out of Polito? I have not. I have not. Uh, when you go through the tunnel, your GPS turns off. I thought I'd missed the uh, spot I was supposed to turn. We had like 29. I think you get paid $50 a bag. What I uh, added up earlier. Oh, that's sweet. Now, how did I get 850 for that first one that I did, and you only got like 500? I still don't understand that. I, I didn't have that many boxes to deliver. Oh, it, on it, that first one, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a lot at all. Must have varying orders that they're doing or something. Now this one is behind a player owned business, I'm pretty sure, because it's all it's, uh, customized, so we gotta be careful here. But it might be edge runners, so we, it's edge, run, edge runners, we're, we're just good. All the cars in the sandy. Hell yeah. Oh wait, crap. Alright, way to keep a low profile, Jason. Alright. <laughs> Going from Polito all the way down to fucking looks like Southside. Jesus. Yo, be careful in Southside. Yeah, I, I can't believe how how far this uh, route takes you around the island. State. Oh, it's only one. Ah, oh, I got chipped on that one. Let's drink some uh, water real quick. Actually, we'll drink a soda that we found in a car. It turns out it was actually Vinewood. <laughs> well, it's definitely better than uh, Southside. Yep. Imagine riding this lane like 20 deep in an MC, <laughs> 20 bikes deep, trying not to get demolished by locals. It was, uh, it was like the first year of RP in my, uh, for me and New Day. Good times, good times. Especially right here. And actually in Chumash is pretty bad too. Can I, uh, see, I don't want to take a brake light up because it's another, it's another reason a cop could pull me over. So we're going to try not to give him an excuse to pull me over. But we do have a headlight out. It's like Austin Powers right now. <laughs> Here we go. Watch, this one will have like three of them because I got to run. I 
nothing shady going on here. Just normal guy dropping off a bag. Nothing to see here, guys. Oh, oh it's just the electronic components. I mean, this could be illegal, right? I mean, <laughs> I've delivered bootlegged, bootlegged DVDs. And um, I want to say fake license. I think I had some fake license. A lot of cops involved. Yeah, just uh, make sure you stop at the red lights and don't give them a reason to pull you over. They roll on me, I'm screwed, man. There's no way I'm getting away in this bobcat. Shit, my next delivery is up there by uh, Lily's store. Is it, uh, is it South Chumash or is it North Chumash? Because I had one in North. I think it was North. I was looking at it a second ago. Let me see. Oh wait, no, we're going south right now, aren't we? I got that backwards. Oh, you know what? It's uh, it's up there by the uh, by the ammo shop. Wait, I think that's the one I'm going to right now. Oh shit, really? They probably beat me because I'm still down in Vinewood. Headache City. me Jason they let you keep the toolkit yeah I told him I used it for my mining job hell yeah fucking good thinking man yeah those aren't illegal they're not cheap either so I'm glad he didn't decide to you know yeah that, yeah that was brand new yeah he, he tried making a deal about it like he was like why do you need a toolkit on your mining job I was like, why wouldn't I need one? You know, you never know whenever you need to adjust your headlamp and shit, you know, and you gotta, you gotta have a screwdriver and tools for that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was some really good RP. Shout out to the to the two uh, sheriff deputies that showed up on that scene. You guys were awesome. Sorry we got away with it. But you know what? We got away with it so you didn't have paperwork, so a win-win for everybody but you guys are awesome it's like we're going out to Polito I didn't like that. That's what J Jason needs an El Camino. Oh my gosh. 100% got to get one of these guys. Yes, Jason needs that car for sure. That's a Jason Murphy car all day long. Slidey.
Oh, that curve right there. We were, uh, we were going to a meeting traveling southbound. Uh, the Vikings MC we were like 20 plus deep. It was a, um, it was like a quarterly meeting with all the MCs in the state. And uh, a go postal driver took out uh, David, who was my uh, sponsor. I think I, I'm pretty sure I was a prospect back then. Yeah, so we, uh, we had to take care of that. We ended up late to the meeting because we were busy taking care of that guy. And the guy kind of, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but he kind of didn't give the best RP because he was trying to blame a headache and stuff like that. You know, it's like, come on, man. How are you going to say it's a, I'm going to blame a headache for that. You were, you were grinding go postal and you were, you went opposite lanes uh, at the wrong time, my guy. <laughs> Thank you. 150 bucks right here. Can't beat that. I don't think you get paid at all though if you get caught though. That's that's the That's the thing about doing this. It's like you can make good money, but if you lose the car and don't return it, I don't think you get paid. Which makes sense. I mean, you know, if you're doing deliveries and, uh, and you lose half the product, guess what? You're going to have a hit out on your head, you know? All right. Yeah, screw you, bro. Screw you, bro. Last time a local. Wait, where am I delivering this? What? Did a hobo camp? All right. Got you, bro. Capitalism is crisis. Hey. Yo, I don't have any weed today, guys. I just got uh, illegal electronics, okay? No weed today, guys. I'm sorry. I'll have that tomorrow. Ah, just a one. Oh. This is really cool, though. I, I really enjoy this. It's like alpha. It's like illegal alpha mill is basically what it is. It's funny. The GPS goes out in that tunnel up by Polito, but the tunnel down uh, near Vespucci, you know, from the Great Ocean Highway, it doesn't. Oh, weird. I need to do some more deliveries for the tea shop. Because in the county, the service isn't any good. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mark Kid, Derek. Mm. Okay, so there's... Oh, oh, oh. You good, bro? Okay, I got hit by a car because I slowed down because there's a bunch of cop cars over here on the freeway. Oof. I'm all right, but okay. I don't see the cops, I just see the cars. Great, now I'm missing a brake light and a headlight. Oh, I hate locals. Well, I'm missing a, a passenger side headlight and a passenger side brake light now because of locals, so. I need to yeah, hit up a repair here, shop except, so I don't uh, have a... it's... Uh, All the windows in my car are out. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I need to find a repair shop so they don't have to give the cops an excuse to pull me over, you know? Oh, wait, where am I going? Hey, 
That's actually a good idea. That, that's exactly where I am right now, Muir, Muir Park. That's where my drop is. So maybe I'll go ahead and get it fixed up. Oh. Um, I'm doing this right by the Ravens Repair Shop. So, oh, hold on, I got somebody coming up on me. Never mind, you drift by. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get some sleep, so take care. Good night, bro. Alright, take it, take care, good night. Hey, yeah, Derek, real quick, I was, I was, I'm, I meant to ask you, uh, what's, what's the monthly, uh, tax on the, the tea shop that we need to make? I'll, I'll, I'll try to make sure I put some, uh, some deliveries in towards it, you know? Uh, it's 47.50. Alright, bet. I'll, uh, make sure to make at least part of that, you know? I appreciate that, Jason. Thank you. Absolutely, bro. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, good night. What are you going, delivering? Man? What's up? What are you delivering? Oh, uh, the pops just delivered, uh, asked for some, uh, electronics. I don't know what the hell they were using them for, but I guess something for their, uh, systems in there. Thank you for your service. Actually, hey, can, $25 do you guys, uh, to fix this you guys go to repair my truck at all, or is that uh, something? Yeah, we can do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pulling around real quick. Not bad all right. at all. Still Ravens repair? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit, y'all don't remodeled the place. Uh it's kinda of ain't really our choice. Someone else had to get a paint oh, booth shit. and they didn't Black have Lotus room for it, has, so uh, well. they're all decorated for pride. Their whole fence around it is uh, when, uh, decorated. When, Vi when I was in the Vikings, this was Reapers repair and uh Oh yeah. And lots of memories here, bro. Oh, and also look at this. It's a fucking hologram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard about the Vikings. I don't really know too much about myself, though. I think a, lot, a few of the Ravens are in the Vikings. Uh, Yuri and uh, Thomas, at least. Uh, Tommy know. went nomad and Yuri's still around, so yeah. Oh, shit. Tommy okay, so, nomad? Yeah, he's nomad. This ain't too bad, it's just a little bit of oh, wow, body and behind the work. bank in uh, Vinewood. I had never been Yeah, damn here. locals took out my uh, headlights and my taillights and giving them an excuse to... Cops an excuse to pull me over, you know, I don't really need that right now, so... Fair enough. I'm assuming since uh, what you're doing with it, it's probably not particularly your car, so you're not trying to, like, get super sharp, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Give me one second, I'll cut the LS. What's your name? Uh, Jason Murphy. Right. Yeah, Sorry, I didn't hear you said someone said something on radio as soon as you said something. No, What's you're up? good, bro. It's uh, Jason Murphy here. I'll give you my ID. Real quick. Jason Murphy. Gotcha. It's already gone through. So just... I'm just going to. Sounds good. Yeah, Or do you mind? I'm trying to do work here. Yeah, I'm charging them thing. <laughs> but I got uh, hoodies. That's badass. Just, uh, go there and we yeah, should be able to pay for it. There you go. There we go. I think you're gonna need it. <laughs> so, you are the second person I've seen today with the red and the uh, cut on, which, uh, Y'all riding around or something? Uh, no, no, this is just a uh, random cheap clothes I picked off the shelf, bro. Oh, okay, fair enough. If there's a if there's a gang running around like this, I don't know anything about it. Maybe I need to change. Nah, I don't, I don't think it's one of them things. It's just like I, I noticed it because I saw like your uh, your cut, which is not you know it's like leather, you know what I mean? And right. I saw the red, and I was like, oh, cool, someone else is doing something else with it. No, no, no. If I uh. I don't know, I was talking to somebody, they were like, uh, because I was telling them I was a former Viking and all that, and they're like, well, why don't you start your own MC? I'm like, fuck, no, if I wanted to join an MC, I'd just join an existing MC. 
<laughs> yeah, about, that's you know that's good. But I'm just kind of doing my own thing right now. Fair enough. Well, if you got a good relation with some of the Vikings, I you know we are up here. Absolutely, man. Plato's you know, definitely okay. home. Yeah, it's definitely my home too, for sure. Hell yeah. All right, so it'll be three for Okay, well, I just got hit okay. and run by some asshole in a car. Let's go over here to the mat. What's your car number today? It was on the sidewalk as I was making my turn. Uh, there you go. And he just kept going. There you go. Should be on the mat. And then we go. Let me get all the materials for it. Paid three hundred and forty one dollars to repair a headlight. I could have I could have literally went to a local shop and got this on for so much cheaper. It's cool. I'm I'm good with giving these guys my money. Oh my bad bro. I'm at uh Ravens repair getting my uh the truck, the headlight and the tail light replaced. So I don't I didn't oh, I want to No, it's good. I, I got I got uh, hit and run by some guy who uh, oh shit, he was are you on okay? the wrong side of the. He was on the right. Yeah, I'm fine, but I'm pissed off because the guy didn't even fucking say a word to me. He just ah uh, shit, it wasn't a street racer. He's driving on the sidewalk on in the wrong uh, side of the street, and I'm making a right turn into an alley, and he, you know, obviously I wasn't looking on the sidewalk for somebody going the wrong side of the street on the sidewalk, you know. Yeah. Didn't say. Uh, it, uh, I'm not so worried about the damage to the car. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? You're not even gonna say nothing. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. Just realized I got a lot of cash. I mean, I need to up the bank. I forgot I'd sold all that stuff. The place they're having me deliver to is is bullshit. It's like. On the side of the highway, there's all these cargo boxes, uh, in, and, uh, barbed oh. wire. Narrow gap. I right, walk through a fucking space. maze to get to it. How long have you been, uh, doing what you're doing a minute ago? The silo stuff. So, I'm sorry. How long have you been doing the silo stuff? Pa three packages. <laughs> um, I just kind of started. Got into oh, it, okay. you know. For sure. I've been wanting to get into it, but every time I hear about it, I'm just like, oh, the cars are flagged. I'm like, well, fuck. I don't know if I want to do all that shit. Oh, are they? I, I was Apparently. wondering about that. Apparently. Interesting. Yeah. Like a, I don't know, like a fake reg or something like that for it. Huh. Should we get? All right, man. I appreciate it. Did I? Hold on. I meant to uh, meant to give you a little bit of a tip. I, don't, I think I'm gonna hand it over to uh, you. Let me see. I got 360 on me. I don't know if you gave it to me or not. There you go, oh, man. I, I, I know what I did before. I messed up before. All right, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. We're always around for Nia, so. Hell yeah. Actually, not here. Yeah. I'm going to throw you my number two. Fucking. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you mine. Firehawk. Jason Murphy. Nice to meet you, bro. You as well. All right, man. All right. Take it easy. Good luck on your own. Jesus Christ. Just got hit again. Pretty much the whole same place. Uh. God damn, bro, you're a magnet tonight. I just spent like almost six hundred dollars just to repair my <laughs> my my band vehicle, well, not band vehicle, but illegal delivery vehicle. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I'll I'll do that for the RP. I don't care. You know, here's about money. Take that RP all day long. Did 
Turn it on. Oh, okay, well, this guy stopped. Off. So that was good at least. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, damn, bro. I just I'm paid just like five hundred dollars to repair tank. my uh, illegal car here. Hey, uh, I'm glad I did though. Well, it was three forty one. Oh, it was like three forty one for the repair and two hundred dollars uh, tip. But um, it was worth it though because uh, I got a little bit more information on this. These cars are apparently flagged, so just be aware of that. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah. So apparently they're flagged as stolen or whatever. See that. This is flat. Did he know? I mean, you know, or, or did he just? Yeah. He, like, he, oh, okay. Uh, he seemed like he knew what he was talking about. Oh, okay. All right. Damn. Well, I mean, I, know. Hell yeah. we obviously don't know for a fact, but I mean, I would assume that yeah. his information is good. You know what I mean? Oh, good job. Hell yeah. Looks like I'm heading up uh, towards the. Oh, actually, it looks like I'm heading to the uh, uh, Palomino. Uh, uh, Palomino uh, store there. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a little delayed from that repair. I just didn't want to. I don't want the cops to have an excuse to pull me over, but apparently they got one anyways, because apparently the fucking plates are flagged. But, you know, when you when you have a tail light out and a headlight out, you're drawing attention to yourself, so... Shit, man, I've been bueling shit since I was 16 years old, so you just learn that kind of shit, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, you know, after the two accidents I've been in since I got this thing fixed, the lights are actually still... <laughs> Good shit. That's actually uh, very engraved in Jason's backstory is that uh, the day he got his driver's license, the day he turned 16, it was the day he started mewling for his MC. He was just a hang around. He didn't, uh, he wasn't allowed to prospect until he turned 18. So it's just uh, pretty cool that I'm doing this stuff in New Day. Because that was like just something that was in his backstory that, you know, I didn't know what I was going to get into a new day. Whenever I was applying to two and a half years ago. No, not quite two and a half years ago. But. The, uh, the first RP community I was a part of, it was a scene-based RP community. So you kind of just create your own uh, roleplay. You just like poof the cars in and stuff like that. And uh, one thing that I would do on Billy Bob was uh, was deliveries. But you didn't get like like actual cash and you didn't have actual boxes. Like it was all just imagination, you know? So it's, the, the, the delivery RP is something I've done since the uh, very beginning of my RP, time in RP. Seems like so long ago. My goodness. It was 2020 when I uh, first started role playing. Yo, Tim, what's up, bro? How are you, man? It was a good night tonight, man. I uh, I wasn't sure what I, I thought you guys had something that you were doing tonight. So I just kind of went live and I was like, it's going to be a chill stream. You know, not much is probably going to happen. You guys are probably just going to be watching me hit rocks. And then like literally, literally, uh, <laughs> not even 20 minutes into it. We got the cops who were talking to and <laughs> whatever was going on down at Jumash and yeah, it's a good night. 
How's it going? Oh, it's going good, man. It's going good. Yeah, yeah, I cooked dinner tonight. That was interesting. <laughs> my wife appreciated it, you know? My, my daughter was scared to death, dude. She was swore that I was gonna give everyone food poisoning. I'm like, it's spaghetti, okay? Like, I, I, br I browned the beef, put the tomato sauce in, boiled the noodles. Like, it's, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> How did it go cooking? Yeah, it went good, man. Yeah, it went good. Yeah, it wasn't too complicated. I did put a lot of spices in and my wife was like listening to me use the salt uh, grinder and stuff and she was like, you're, you're putting too much salt in. And I'm like, no, I'm not. It's gonna be fine. This is my, you know, this is my cooking. <laughs> she was like, if it's too salty, I'm throwing it all away. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, I didn't want to do too good of a job because I didn't want to like, you know, set a precedent. You know, you wanted to do just good enough to get brownie points. But not too good to where it's like, you know, where they want you to do it. <laughs> it's like you just get a you just get a little attaboy and it's like, okay, never do that again. But I appreciate you. <laughs> they don't want to do too good of a job. <laughs> you know. Put in just enough effort. No. No, actually I put in a lot of effort because I'm not good at cooking at all. So like my best effort was was really just a meh. They said they liked it though, so they're probably just making me feel good. <laughs> and my daughter ate all her food. She really was giving me some looks though, man. Like <laughs> I kind of felt bad. I was like, because I'm like she trusts me like to fix anything. Like I'm the repair guy, right? I'm the maintenance guy. But uh mom is the cook and mom, mom is like a five-star chef she really is she's amazing and um so whenever whenever she saw me in the kitchen cooking she's giving me that like eyebrow you know like whoa, whoa, what's going on here you better give us food poisoning hell no i went to chef school so i'm legit a food person oh nice dude that's awesome she's messing with you that's what kids are good at yeah true yeah she is a practical joker like that too <laughs> That's awesome, man. I didn't know you went to a uh, culinary school. I can like I can grill pretty good, but as far as like getting in the kitchen and knowing like all the different seasonings and what the what to pair what with, you know, like that's uh, I'm not good at that. I was uh, I was definitely on my phone, like Googling <laughs> spaghetti recipes and whatever, you know, I mean, it's spaghetti's not even that complicated of a thing to make, but uh, I wanted to, I, I, I did want the, it to be edible, you know, <laughs> in Boston. Uh, so I'm trained as a chef and bar. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Dude, you, you can make a, you can make good money being a chef, man. That's uh, when I worked at the uh, Dollar General warehouse, um, an ex Air Force guy. He was uh, he was going to culinary school, and that's what he was trying to do. Just get a get at you know some big restaurant or something like that. You know, make good money. And most importantly, it's it's what you enjoy, right? If you enjoy doing it. That's like I enjoy doing deliveries, and I'm actually making decent money doing it. So I'm all about that. <laughs> I grew up with an Italian grandmother and was all, oh yeah, 100%, dude, 100%. My uh, uncle married into an Italian family. Um, we're, we're like 99% sure they're, they're part of the mob, but, uh, and that's not just because they're Italian. It's just because, like, like literally if you watch the Godfather, like if you go to New York and visit my uncle, like they, they make a big to do. And like, it's like, it's like, it was like I was watching The Godfather, but without like the guns, you know, like. <laughs> the hours are brutal. Bartender money is a lot better uh, from what I've seen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My wife was a bartender when I met her and she made really good money. But yeah, like you said, the hours were brutal. Like, I don't know how you, how they expect people to work like the hours that they would do. Like, 
and like like one night she would close and then she'd they'd ask her to open the next morning and so like you're working until midnight and then you expected to be there at like eight o'clock the next morning like you literally can't even get eight hours of sleep you know but i mean like she made good money though and she's you know she's she's a good looking lady so you know she got them tips <laughs> You know how to talk. You, you got to be able to be social too. You know, you got to know how to talk to people, and you can't be a boring bartender, right? Close open. That's a close. That's a close open. Close and open. Yeah, yeah. They would do that to her, man. She finally got out of it. She's a preschool teacher now, and uh, you know she doesn't make as much money because she got a lot of tips and stuff. You know, but uh, she enjoys it way more. I got two more boxes and I'm coming into a delivery in Sandy. I'm coming out, kind of hoping that'll be my last one. It won't be so far a drive back. Hell yeah, man. I got like 15 more, but I did a, did you do a long route or did you do a short route? I, I did a long route, but I think you've been um, at the garage and stuff while I've been doing this. Yeah, true. When I talk, I mean, some of the drops were like and three, I'm, and I'm three pressing reverse, I go into first person for some reason. Oh, it's over here. I don't know if that happens to everybody or not, but it definitely happens to me. When I, whenever I talk in reverse, I go into first person. Uh, my bad. What was I? I didn't get your last. I, I didn't hear that last thing you said. So, well, some of them were like uh, three package drops and shit, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been getting a lot of like one package drops. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. See, the thing about it being a long route confuses me because uh, the first route that I did had the same number of packages. It happens but, to you uh, too? Oh, there okay. Were fewer stops, that must just be so a buy then thing, thing then or thing. something. We'll see how the payoff is. You know, if it's more than my first one, I may just stick to short routes. Rather, I'm sorry, if it's the same as my first one, I might just stick to short routes because... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's a... Uh... It's fifty dollars a bag, is what I tallied up earlier. So I don't, I don't okay, think well, I it matters think whether you're short with, or long. I think I started with twenty, so we'll see. I think I started with twenty-nine. That would be what? Uh, twenty-nine would be a thousand, fourteen fifty, right? Fourteen fifty. You know what's funny, Tim? Is it like you guys were doing math, something with math? I think it was you and you and it was either you and pedal or Ollie and pedal. And you're calculating something and you were asking Jason and like OOC I calculated it right away like I'm pretty good with math right but Jason's not so like I couldn't give you the answer because Jason didn't know but I, I like I, Aaron knew like you know not a gamer knew but uh Jason didn't so I had to just you know just sit there and be like uh, oh yeah math bro I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah math man <laughs> yeah <laughs> I have to be really careful about that too sometimes like i can have to make sure jason's not too clever like jason's street smart so like when he's dealing with the cops and stuff like i'm okay with him getting away with stuff but oh, like hell yeah like yeah, i have to make sure that he's not too too smart if that makes sense like you know what i mean like i don't know if that makes sense or not but uh but like billy bob was a mastermind right like billy bob could really figure stuff All out right, yeah i uh i delivered 20 packages have the big I plan have no, jason I have no idea how many drops i made Jason doesn't have a big plan. Jason's living day to day, you know? I have no idea what he said. I'm just gonna say hell yeah. Is that, is that cool? Hell yeah. Hopefully that's relevant. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, John. I can't, I'm paying attention to too much stuff at once. <laughs> I can't do math. I was uh, trying to figure out how many plants it would take to pay out the basement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was something, yeah, that, that was another thing. You, you were, you were naming those numbers off and, uh, I'd figured that up in my head too, but I couldn't say it because uh, Jason wouldn't have known. It's like Derek not knowing anything about music and I'm obsessed with music. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be hard. <laughs> yeah, I remember in 1.0, like uh, Derek being like, uh, we were talk, we would talk about stuff and Derek being like, I don't know what you're talking about and just being all confused and that's a state trooper. And then so a dog going, came up to me and I was okay, like, please don't have a plate reader. Please don't have a plate reader. All right, we are good. 
I just passed a state trooper. Luckily, they were dealing with somebody, but uh, hopefully, they didn't have a plate reader. <laughs> oh, Honestly, I'd, I'd welcome the RP. You know what I mean? So like, you have to do the delivery close to that, or are you leaving the area? No, no. Luckily, I'm leaving the area. Do you know if we get okay. like if, if these cars get impounded? Like, I didn't get paid until I turned the car in. So, like, once the car's impounded, like. Like, if we lose the car, do we not get paid? Yeah, I think you're kind of... I mean, it makes sense. I, I would imagine the guy would get pretty pissed if uh, his product gets confiscated, right? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Nope, this way. That was right, close, man. dude. I'm hey, glad, I'm glad he was payout. distracted. And, like, uh, I've made well, a lot of people turns, People are really so. careless about leaving their cars here. Somebody like me could come along and just borrow one of them. Probably why my car's always missing every time I do, to, do that. But well, there's like a supercar here. Damn. Yeah, uh... Yep, yeah, I saw him coming. Cool. And he's gonna keep going? Well, yeah. anyway, okay, I got $1, cool. Cool. For 20, uh... I tried to back up uh, because I, I saw them, they were, they were blacked out. Five, and, uh, okay. 50? So that would be two hundred. They're just gonna keep going. For, cool. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Wait. It's a little video. That's been getting bad. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently, we're letting a lot of people in that uh. That's right, right. That are from 20. servers that don't uh, yeah. that don't care about that, you know. Yeah, bro. You know how you said you got smashed up and uh and the guy just kept driving. Uh, of course. God damn. It. <laughs> Connection yeah, switched. Disconnected. What a, the timing of that? And I always have to like restart it a couple Connection times. Switched. There we go. We're good. Uh, my bad, bro. I uh, my ears pop. Oh no worries. I was just I was just saying that I thought that was cool that you offered to help Derek out. Um, I hadn't done that because I always kind of always seems like he's pretty self reliant. Oh but, yeah, uh, man. I just uh, you know if I'm employed there, I, I want to help like try to pay the bills. You know, make sure I'm pulling my weight. You know. But yeah. But uh, you know how you said you got hit earlier and the guy just didn't say anything, just kept driving off. Like yeah. that just happened to yeah. me. Oh fuck. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. It's just uh, my $500 repairs fuck now, though. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many more you got? Uh, one sec. I'll check. The hell is this at? And Austin powers it. One second. Oh, come on. Am I losing my mind? Where? Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, where is this? Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the, uh, the, the, the hitting and, and I mean, yeah, I, I pulled out in front of them, but they were hauling ass and I don't, did they have their headlights on? I, I it was like slow motion for me. I, I saw it coming and I tried to back up and then I, uh, it was, I, it was just too late. Yeah, they, they, they were, their headlights were off, weren't they? Yeah, I thought they were blacked out. Which made it harder to see him. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I got a, I just made a drop. I got six more. Okay. But, uh, you, you think me, you'll need me for anything? Because I'm kind of thinking I'd call it a day. Oh, uh, no, bro. You're good, man. Go ahead. Uh, I'm okay. good. All right. All right. Well, as always, it's a pleasure. I'll, I'll, uh, maybe I'll see you around tomorrow or the next day or something. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's always good hanging right. out, bro. All right, all right. You have a good night, all right? You too, man. Take it easy. All right. They hit you regardless of what you were doing. They should... Yeah, 100%. I mean, technically, that's VDM. I, I could have, like... I could have, like, got their IDs and made a report and all that, but... I mean... So somebody else definitely will, right? I just can't bother. I'm not, I don't, you know, but uh, they'll definitely eventually get reported for that crap. So
Actually, I can just cut through here, right? Why did it bring me down here? I should have went... Huh. Uh, please be breakable. All right. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I need to... I, I, I'm i not good at the ports. Like, I've learned a lot of the, uh, the map since, you know... It's crazy how little of the map I knew when I first started New Day and now how much of it I know. But uh, this area is not an area that I know very well. I know there's a shortcut you can take on the railroad tracks or something, but Brayden takes it. I'll tell you what, Brayden and Mark know this map like, like crazy. <laughs> Like riding with them and they just like zoom to the area that you need to go, you know, like I I'm like I can find the interstate, you know, and like if I can get to the interstate, I know the exits Wait, this isn't even gonna take me Okay, cool <laughs> We'll go up here and we'll there's an exit up here. We'll take we're not we're gonna ignore that GPS Yeah, I'm so glad I found out out about the weed growing and burner phone guy. Now I can stop. Yeah, dude because you and, and the way you were doing wait oh my okay i need to get right here yeah what what you were doing is the way you have to search a city too though you know what i mean like you just gotta <laughs> because the guy could move and stuff you know so a section a day i just man i got so burnt out doing that crap with the coke i uh You know, I just, uh, I'd rather, I would literally rather grind for 20 hours, like doing towing or something to be able to pay somebody to tell me where that crap is than to, uh, than to do that anymore. I just, I like, because like the Coke lab got raided, you know, so we spent all this time finding the original Coke lab, then it got raided and we had to spend all this time finding it again, you know, and we really got burnt out doing that stuff. I don't know why the GPS is taking me that way. I'm like, literally, it's right here. But that that's the thing, though, about New Day, is it's really designed to make you interact with people. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's what Keevan was really good at. When, uh, when we first joined, Keevan would go around and just talk to people, and he made all these connections. But the only thing about Keevan is he kept them all to himself, so he kind of... They kind of alienated like we were all together right and and uh doing our thing together but then keevan was like wanting to set himself up to be the boss you know which is fine if that's what we agreed to in rp like like in rp here you and ollie are obviously over jason and that's how jason sees it that's fine that's how the rp set up but like whenever we all came in together into new day together you know um we were all equals but then Keevan was setting himself up to be above everybody. Um, he wasn't sharing the intel, basically, you know? But uh, but he was really good at getting that information, though, man. And uh, I was really enjoying the RP that we were having with him. It was just, uh, we all kind of went our separate ways, though. I haven't seen him in forever, though. I think he just got kind of busy with work, and I think he got burnt out on stuff, too. He was, uh, his group was actually pioneering a lot of the criminal stuff. I want to say he was one of the first to uh, hit the banks. I think they were the, I think they were the second people to hit a bank, but they were the first people to hit it successfully. Or something like that. One of those OG uh OG new dayers, you know. I think Frank Gillibani's uh, crew was the first ones to actually hit it, weren't they? Player one, player two, show your players do up, down, left, right, hit her with a strong attack. Yeah, I smoke the strongest pack. Tell me what is wrong with that. No coins in the laundromat. You can't help but honor that. Jam man, make a man, more games in the saber man.
Yo, John, oh hell yeah, bro. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for that follow or that subscription. 16 months, man. It's crazy how long we've known each other. You know what? Like all of us in Team Kill Gaming, like it's just insane how long that we've been RPing together. It doesn't feel like it's been that long. But uh, I, I resubbed to you and it was like a 22 month thing or whatever, you know? And I was like, I was like, damn, we've, we've known each other almost two years now? Holy crap. But I, I guess, damn, I think we started RPing like in 2020, right? So like, oh, I missed my turn. Why am I going this way? So yeah, I'm paying, I can't do two things at once, guys. I'm sitting here trying to, uh, trying to talk and have a conversation. I totally, uh, I'm following the GPS instead of taking a shortcut, but you know, <laughs> yeah, man, it's been amazing now. What a, what a journey. Look at where the role play has taken us in two years. You know, who would have thought, who would have thought that Jason, which is the guy that I really wanted to take into the brotherhood. It was never supposed to be Billy Bob, but Jason was doing the Vikings MC stuff, you know, and he had so much there. I couldn't just, it didn't make sense for him to just go to the Brotherhood, you know? But the fact that the guy that I re really originally wanted to hang out with you guys is now. Uh, I mean, mainly because he was my main, and I, I didn't have to, like, when I started doing Billy Bob, in 1.0, I had to regrind everything because I'd already, I was already, like, you know, maxed out on a lot of stuff of jason but uh restarted with billy bob but now now jason's sitting here hanging out you know and and in the family i don't know uh, i don't know what we call the chumash crew but uh somebody uh the Sal salaries or whatever they asked if i was on the family radio it was like they were referring to uh referring to uh why did i turn off Referring to the to the tea shop, we're the Taco Tacos. <laughs> Last time I went to that, uh, I went to that store yesterday, and it, the uh, the sign was still on there. <laughs> oh come on! I swear, if these last three are one each, that RNG, you know. <laughs> I got to talk to you guys in character about the salary. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, Jason was getting some weird vibes from those guys. He didn't like the way they were uh, they were talking about pedal. Like OOC, OOC, I thought their RP was amazing. Like those guys, like the, I'm pretty sure they're going for like a mafia type RP and they were hitting a spot on and they were being like, they were acting like wise guys would act. You know what I mean? Like they were doing it. They were hitting the nail on the head. I was loving it. Oh, on an OOC level, but in character, Jason was uh, definitely getting a little uh, like, am I about to be pulling my gun out on these guys type, you know? So it'll be interesting to see, uh, see what happens with those guys for sure. Look forward to the RP for sure. I'm interested to see what happens with that public works guys and the edge runners, you know, <laughs> that guy got cut up in uh, little pieces, put in garbage bags or uh, what happened with that? <laughs> is this a, is this a repair shop now? What? Uh, I went on the wrong side. Ah, oh, screw it. This is more discreet. That was the boss at public works. In character, uh, Jason, or uh, Derek doesn't forget names and faces. Nice. Yeah, no, Derek's always been good at that stuff. I remember he tracked down the guy that Billy Bob was going after. Uh, uh, who was it? Oh, who was that guy? He went after Billy Bob whenever he was doing a band run. And he followed Billy Bob all the way up to Sandy, Sh the Sandy Shore stash house. And, uh, and Derek tracked him down. Oh, it's gonna be one. Are you serious? The last three were literally one each. Okay, game. Jackie Sweet. Yep, that was him. That's the old laundry location. Oh, yeah, this is like the original, right? The original. Uh... Alvin was the public works guy. He's the head public works guy. That's amazing. 
<laughs> that guy was giving some great RP too. Like he, he, like he was just legit being a, a, a guy that was uh, like he, he was he's wanting to um, like take it to civ court and all that. And Lily was like, let's just fight it out, bro. Like <laughs> we got it, we got an octagon downstairs. Let's just fight it out, and whoever wins <laughs> eats it. He's like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I remember him green car. Yeah, I think he did have a green car. He was staking out the band runners. He was looking for somebody and he mistook me for whoever he was looking for. And we had this long conversation and then he just shot up my band car and dipped out like kind of almost almost borderline fell RP with the shooting up the car randomly. But, you know, whatever. Um, he, he was OK, though. But yeah, no, we were we were we were looking for that guy for a little bit for sure. We never did anything with him though. That was uh, that was on me. Derek was ready to snatch him up. The main strength I gave my character was to find people like that. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, Derek definitely tracks people down. I remember whenever we had the thing with the Vikings. Brotherhood versus the Vikings and uh Derek was like tracking our Viking movements and all that, you know, that was amazing. Yesterday it felt like uh like you guys were about to tell Jason uh about uh being part of him getting burnt or whatever, you know? I was like, is it is it about to go down? <laughs> That's going to be some interesting RP. There was 3.2 from from grabbing. Was it Jackie or Anna? I think it was Anna. Yeah. I think you were also following uh, Jax, aren't you? You were you were. Uh, I remember you made notes that uh, how easy it would be to just grab one of them if they uh, they wanted to try to mess with us or whatever. Honestly, I prob probably should have uh, just had Jason have amnesia of the uh, of the burning, but but he he got rescued though because the Vikings were looking for him. So, uh, so he, he was able to remember everything, but it was some, it was, that was some amazing RP. It got a little watered down though, but on the Viking side of it, because like literally when Jason took it to the table to tell him what happened was when Kelly Caliber stepped down as president. So, I mean, like nothing mattered, you know what I mean? Like like everything got like the wind got knocked out of the viking cells so you know that rp that we were generating there kind of just got uh yeah yeah the timing because that could have like it could have really ramped up but uh the wind was just kind of knocked out of the uh out of the cells of the vikings there you know yeah she stole the scene <laughs> But on an OOC level, Kelly had a lot going on, so he, uh, it wasn't easy for him to do that, to step down. Oh, it was, dude. It was. And I was, I was a little nervous, honestly, because I'm like, I'm in both groups, so I, I'm going to have to choose a side. You know, I can't play both sides. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Derek was complete. That's amazing. That's amazing, dude. And honestly, just that stake out RP. And I, as Jason, like Jason started, was tracking down the Brotherhood, you know, tracking down Jack, actually, not the Brotherhood, because he didn't know the Brotherhood was a thing, actually. Um, he was just check, tracking down Jack. Um, here, hold on, guys. We got to go. Uh, we got to go intermission. Hi, how's it going? You get to see my bald head. But uh, yeah, no, uh, Jason was tra tracking out Jack. Jack, so I um, 
I actually bought a car as Jason um, specifically to black it out. It was like a, it was like a Pontiac. Yeah, go ahead, do your thing. What is that guy doing? Oh, we got street racers running radar now? Like what? <laughs> but uh, I forget how he found out that Jack lived in the canal house. I think DDMC told told Jason maybe. I I, I don't I don't remember. But uh, he ended up tracking down Jack to to the canal house, and and I staked out. I, I literally sat there, knowing you guys were there on an OOC level. Like I knew <laughs> everybody was there, right? But um, yeah, DD. I'm pretty sure DD. I think it was uh, what was his name? Uh, oh my goodness, I'm lagging. I think my webcam's making me lag right now. Oh no, this is where we had a headache before. Oh my god. Please don't run this person over. Okay, good, good. Yeah, something's going on in Sandy because that that area that we had that bad headache. Oh, all those like fifty cop cars right there. Yeah, that that'll do it. Yeah, okay. But um, oh, I probably shouldn't be describing where I'm at right now. So, oops, I'm trying to be all secretive, and I'm like, well, my current location is. <laughs> but um, no, I literally staked out like the the canal house, waiting to see you guys. Like, not see you guys, but to see Jack. I wanted to verify that that's where Jack lived. And um, I think I, I want to say I spent like three or four hours of stakeout RP. Um, just uh, Jason drinking beers and uh, like just getting in his mindset, how Jason would feel. You know what I mean? Looking for the guy that burnt him and shot him and left him for dead. You know, like I just spent that time meditating on that. And, um, you know, it was great, you know. Mateo, yes, that's it. Yes. You know, damn, Derek does really remember everything, doesn't he? The only reason he didn't do anything uh, was the tarot ter reading on the beach when Pedro told him to be the turtle and slow down. Oh, that's amazing. No way, dude. That's awesome. Kept thinking, Mayor. No, yeah, Mateo, he was a. Uh, like when when DDMC was no yep fourteen fifty is what I got for that so it's one hundred percent fifty dollars a bag. I don't have a car here, huh? I'll tell you what, we'll just uh, yeah, was yeah, what's going on, guys? I'm not gonna comment on that, bro. Okay. <laughs> but the locals really do say some crazy stuff, don't they? Oh, come on. So I noticed um, from lock picking earlier when towing that you, you eventually get cuts on your hands and stuff. And earlier, the cop did a uh, body did a slash me, but he might have just been checking me, you know, and it just it just popped up as a slash me after he after he did whatever the check mechanic is, you know. Um that I didn't have cuts on my hands because uh, I did a slash me like the hands have no cuts, but they, they're, you know, they, um, they work hands they are rough, you know, or whatever. But, um, I think it actually just answered. I think mechanically it answered for me and I misunderstood what was going on. Um, so that's interesting that like, if you have cuts on your hands though, that it's like an automatic sign that you've been lock picking, I guess. But like, there's a lot of things that could give you cuts on your hands, so that's a little weird. Oh, really, man? Like, seriously? Y yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of you kind of did that to yourself. Derek, the cop who helped uh, you on GOH the other night, was indie RP manager. We oh yeah yeah we kings RP with him as why I was back in it. Yeah, we kings is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we kings was the guy that uh that responded to our store robbery that we were. We were in the camping in the RV, you know, and they never actually saw us hit the store. And like, like we put the bands in the glove box and they searched us. And then one of us, I think Derek went back to, or no, it was Derek's all it was uh, Tim's all. I mean, um, oh, that was Pippin. Yeah, yeah, that was that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, yeah, Elijah. Yeah, I was with Elijah. 
yeah went back to the glove box and grabbed the bands and then they and then they searched the rv like they they let us like yeah yeah that's where uh you know a breakdown of police work like they they were doing their dil- due diligence you know what i mean and that was an amazing scene we just we unfortunately for them we got away with it you know so all right i'm gonna drive to a random area of the map here and uh and turn the turn the screen back on here driving far far away from where i just was you guys don't know where i was totally wasn't right around the corner or anything like that you know where the secret thing is totally totally far far away all right <laughs> my cop oc asked me and i said his hands are smooth and soft and then i said i moisturize <laughs> nice i mean he, he might have been ooc asking me too i don't know I will have to watch that back in in the um VOD. But uh Boomer robbed him with Frank and John and got us uh got his most prized possession, a stun gun. Nice. Yo, laugh navy, what's up man? Oh wait, I need to see if uh if I have a uh car here. I guess I could have started another run, but I'm kinda tired. I probably uh We'll go to Chumash and call it a night. Jason's been sleeping underneath the pier. I might get an apartment with Jason just so I have the, uh, I want to be able to cook. I don't like not being able to cook. Like that Having Lala and Turner really spoiled me. I, I know you can't do all the recipes on, uh, on the apartment stove, but I think you can like make the chili and stuff like that. Of course, when, when restaurants are open, I'll just uh, go there. But my problem with Jason is like, sometimes I'll like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be around a lot more than I have been anyways, but like a lot of times, like I'll wake up with Jason and his food will all be bad. Oh, the yield is lower than it was at a restaurant. Well, that makes sense because it's not a commercial kitchen. And I don't want to take away from the restaurants. I mean, that makes a lot of sense actually. This could be a Jason truck. No, not really. No, this isn't something you drive. Something Billy Bob might drive, though. I do want to do a, a production RP night where uh, I'm Earl. I'm working on a story arc with Earl where uh, where he's he loses his driver's license. So he's he's a truck driver, and I want to get him a DUI while he's uh, truck driving. That's what I've been working on with him. Pretty sure I got like twenty twenty seven hundred dollars on me right now. I need to probably need to deposit that. Now I got more than that now because I just got paid. It's uh I don't know, let's guess thirty seven maybe? No, four thousand at least. Yeah, so we had at least four thousand on us. Oops. Is it not gonna show me? What's going on right now? There we go. 150, I'll keep that on me. Earl is great, yeah. Earl Johnson, Marty Foot. <laughs> He's 100% coming out in 5PD. I created that character in 5PD. And uh, yeah, he drives a tractor. He, he uh, in production, he owns a golf cart right now and he drives around everywhere in his golf cart. <laughs> Actually, I just bought a Rusty Rebel with him as well. Um. So one thing, I, one reason why I haven't been around a lot of New Day recently is because I've been grinding a lot on production for my alts. All my alts have 50 grand in savings now. And in production, if you have 50 grand in savings, you earn five grand a week in interest. So like my alts are just making money, you know, so I don't have to grind on my alts now, you know, they just, they'll make, they'll have more than enough money to, to do whatever RP I need to do. So are you guys cool with me asking that RPR about, oh yeah, 100%, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm good with it, for sure. I, I meant to respond to that, I don't think, I think, uh, I think Watson responded, v vegan gamer. Um, the more the merrier, you know, as long as, uh, you know, as long as they have common sense, like, you know, don't, uh, you know, 
they don't say things they shouldn't be saying in stream or you know what i mean like or saying period you know as a human being um you know as long as like they're good character you know i guess you know and i think you're a good judge of character so i trust you i think we all do and at the end of the day if he's somebody that doesn't click you know we can always just boot him out <laughs> he's professional yeah yeah good deal yeah i, I say the more to marry the more to marry or 100 percent it'd be cool to have like have so many people that we could have two people running and and the rest being cops or something you know what i mean like we could really set up some elaborate scenes just wait until you see doofner's uh cop car that he's got now <laughs> me and tim were uh we're in the server setting stuff up and uh and i stumbled across it and i was like you know what this is uh this is doofner's daily driver for sure this is the doofner car he may not want to but uh it'd be cool to mix uh things up even if he got on once yeah yeah i, I the way i look at 5pd is this like a no pressure thing right you know like would we have a night that we want to RP on there, you know? If you can make it, great. If you can't, then no worries, you know? We're not gonna... It shouldn't be something that we, like, that you're expected to do. It's just something that we do as friends to have fun, you know? It, it, just, it just breaks up the... You know, the serious RP is amazing and it's immersive. But sometimes it's nice just to get in server and be stupid and, and dumb and, <laughs> you know, and silly. So that's what that is. Might as well take a little look, right? Yeah. So the only thing I was thinking of whenever uh whenever we were about to get arrested earlier, John, was that I gotta explain this to my DHS agent now, you know? Or rep D DHS representative, I guess, is what I guess the proper terminology for that. But yeah, so I, I got arrested at the mine. I was doing a legal job and just, you know, totally got arrested. I was totally innocent, you know, and I didn't stream the meeting. Uh, well, the meeting actually ended up getting canceled, but I think I am going to stream it. It seems like it's going to be would be some pretty intense or could be some uh, pretty intense RP. That might be hard to show in stream, but at the same time, it's a it's a hell of a story to not show, you know. And uh, and you guys could really get to see. Uh, I feel like Jason's probably going to have a breakdown. He might not. You know, because that's the way this role play works, right? You, you think it's going to go a certain way and then it goes completely left field. So you just never know. But I feel like Jason might have a breakdown. And what, what, what has me excited about this is that it gives Jason an excuse to not be as serious. Jason's a very serious person. Like, it's just the, the life that he's he, that he's had. You know, he killed his first person when he was 13 years old. You know, before that, he was just watching his mom get beat all the time, right? But, uh, it's going to be really interesting. I have no idea what you're talking about. The, uh, his, his AA meetings. He may not want to. I felt so bad because you had the toolkit and you also had opened the doors. Um, and I didn't know if the scratch hands thing would be a problem. If, if I had scratched hands, like, I would literally, it would be like I, I was mining, you know? I meant RP not going the way you plan. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I think, I think, uh, so, you know, a lot of times people get mad when RP doesn't go your way, right? Okay, let's go down here where we might not get robbed and kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, this is right. This is exactly where Jason sleeps and lives. Um... RP not going your way can be some of the most amazing RP that you have. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be... A lot of people get upset, like, if they lose... Like, you know, like... Like, whenever you bought the, the, um, the limo, 
to rob the store. Like, we had this elaborate jewelry heist, right? We really went in depth on it and went in character. Like, we, we didn't want it to just be a smash and grab. Nothing went to plan on that, and it was an amazing night. You know what I mean? Like, it was an amazing night. We had a lot of fun. And it was okay. We lost. You know, it's okay for RP not to go your way. Um... So, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I've lightened up a lot since I started. Yeah, well, Jason, Jason, uh, he, he's just a, he's a really brutal guy. I mean, like, he, he, he's not outgoing. He's not going to be outspoken, but, like, he wouldn't hesitate to put a bullet in somebody's head. You know what I mean? Like, that's just who he is. It's what he's done since he was a kid. Um, so, um... That's all he's ever known. All he's ever known is the MC life. Since he was 13 years old, he was a hang around in an MC. And then when he was 18, he, he was a prospect for that MC, you know? So he, he's, he's been in the life for a long time. So he's a very, like, brutal and serious guy. But, like, there's a lot of stuff that can happen in these meetings that can really make him rethink his life and his path, you know, if the meetings go the way that I'm kind of hoping they do. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that happens because it gives Jason an excuse to really like, OK, these these guys that aren't part of the MC life, you know what I mean? Like, um, maybe that's the path that I need to be pursuing. They got a legal business, you know, and I and, and they're, you know, I'm standing. Well, they don't really keep Jason away from the drinking because we got drunk as hell at that bachelor party. But, you know, they, they're, they're, they're not it's not the same thing that he's used to, you know, and it could really help Jason go on a different path. And so, uh, and it can make him lighten up a lot too, you know, just his character lighten up a lot. So, uh, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see where all that RP goes and big shout out to all the DOJ, um, because they really didn't have to go that route. Like they, they did a lot of paperwork to make that RP happen and put a lot of hours in to getting us all to meeting together. Like it's hard to get a lot of people in together. You know what I mean? Uh, it was like five different people that had to like come together or something like that, you know, to make it happen. So it, it really could have just been as simple as a court case and he would have been guilty of the charge and he would have spent like 20 months in prison and that would have been it right that would have been the end of the rp but instead we got like six weeks of rp at least that we're gonna get in it now not only do we have six weeks of rp but it's rp that could really change jason like you know i mean he'll still be jason murphy right but it could really change like after he's on i guess you know so it'll be interesting to see what happens but it's uh it's midnight so uh, it is Friday night, but uh, it's midnight. So I'm going to go to sleep, guys. I really appreciate you guys for hanging out. Thank you so much, Tim and John, for the RP. It was amazing. John, we got away from the cops, man. We we somehow talked ourselves out of it. I'll take it. It was a W, right? So <laughs> and anyway, uh, hopefully we gave the cops some good RP and all that, too. You know, we didn't just take off running. We, uh, we stayed and gave them some good RP. So um, I, I feel like everybody had a good night. So all right, guys. Good night. We'll see you next time. All right. Y'all take care. We'll see ya.